настолько, почему-то настолько пробивает, как будто она там отвалится. Видимо, это заморозка. Тебе надо что-то решать, походу. Приветствую. Кто здесь? Там Макс должен быть, да? Вон, вон, вон написал. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. You are welcome to the first game of today's game series in the International Short Hockey Federation Top League. Today we are having the game uh, between <coughs> Moskovsky Echelon and uh, Shestro Lee as the very first game. Moskovsky Echelon uh, playing from uh, left to right. The uh, usual red and white and jerseys, and uh, Shestra Lee playing from right to left in white and green. Uh, Shestra Lee in the lineup, we have um, their goaltender Gregory Morashov, number one, we have number six, Pavel Vasiliev, we have number seven, Ramiz Ganyev, we have number three. Uh, Makari Yurov, number 5, Mikhail Zareski, uh, number 8, Sergei Gusarov, number 4, Gleb Mokulev. And uh, on the side of Shestroli, uh, we have their goal, tender number 1, Vasily Lapshenkov, uh, number 6, Sergei Kolodnov, uh, number 9, Alexander Shved, number 7, Vladimir Kaludin, number 5, Maxim Antonov, number 8, Ivan Ketchkin, Ketchkin sorry, and uh, number 4, Pavel Gutiakov. Uh, we played barely 2 minutes, and uh, we are waiting for an opening goal in this first match of the day. Uh, 10 minutes in this first third. And then we will have a little uh, intermission, a little break time, and uh, we will resume the second third, and of course the same thing, and then the final third of this game. So three thirds as usual, 10 minutes each, 10 minutes to decide the winner, and if no winner, we will get into the post-game shootout. And uh, of course everything wants to get the win during the regulation time. That gives you more chances, more assurance than uh, shootouts. Shootouts are basically more technical, no dependence on a 
teammates. And that is a goal by uh, Chef Trolli, the player number eight, uh, Ivan Ketchkin. Assisted by number four player, Pavel Putyakov. And so early in the first third of this game, seven minutes and 16 seconds to play, as barely three, three minutes played, we had our first goal. Uh, is this the beginning of many goals? Maybe we'll see. So, in three minutes, Chestrali takes the lead. Courtesy of uh, Ivan Ketchkin and was assisted by Pavel Kutyakov. Of Kieslon, of course, we'll be trying to get an early equalizer to get back in the game, to get back in the competition, to get back in the contest. Uh, and the earlier you do that, the better. Because the time is not waiting for no one, as we all know. Time is counting down to top. Uh, it will be a lot more difficult if uh, Chester really happens to add one more goal. That would make matters more interesting for us, of course, but uh, definitely not for the uh, uh, Moscow Schedule side. So now I believe they'll be doing their best. The goaltender, uh, Grigory Morashov, will be doing his best to avoid another uh, puck in his goal. And while the, the outfit players will be trying to make sure they set up and utilize the opportunities. Because, of course, setting up is not enough. Utilization is the most important thing after the setup. That was a close one by um, Pavel Kutiakov who gave the assist, but uh, he just went yeah, not a few, but a good number of inches to the left side of uh, the net of Gregory uh, Morashev. And uh, Echelons try trying to force the attack. But they were denied by Vasily Lapshinkov. Skopsky Shalons, they're trying, but uh, so far it seems that the uh, Shestroli are in control of the game. Not just by the scoreline, but by the number of attacks, by the possession of the puck, by the control of everything basically so far. Uh, Shestroli seems to be in control of the game and it's half of the first third plate, five minutes and a few seconds. Uh, Moskowski Echelon have not made up to two. If they have, they're not more than two um, reasonable attacks that could uh, shake the hearts of the Chestrali players. It's been Chestrali all day today for now. And Chestrali goes again. Well defended by number four player Gleb Morolev. Of uh, Moskovsky Echelon to avoid uh, a well given pass that could have led to the second goal in the game, the second goal for Chestrali. Then there was a violation of the rule, a shot direct on goal without a pass. So the referee has stopped the game, we will have a face off and then uh, we will resume the game. First off has been done and uh, the puck falls in possession of the Chestrali players and uh, we are back. It's 3 minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. We still one goal to nothing to Chestrali. Van Kepskin trying to force his attack, start his attack rather from behind and he does that with a very long pass straight to uh, the goal post behind the goalpost of Chest, uh, Moskovsky Echelon. Chest really has possession of the puck. Alexander Schmidt releases it. Good block by uh, Grigory Morashev after a nice shot by Ivan Keshkin. Uh, I'm sorry by uh, what number five player Maxim Antonov. Uh, what? 
Sonder Schwert. Was one that shot it either. Was um, Alexander Shield was there to make, get the rebound, but uh, the defense of um, Moskowski Echelon denied him that rebound shot, which would have led to a goal. Two minutes and 20 seconds, and the scoreline remains the same. That was a very good setup by Moskowski Echelon, but uh, he failed to get his shot right. And uh, the puck has been claimed by Chester Lee. Nice shot. And Maxim Antonov. Blocked by Grigory Morashev of Moskovsky Echelon. Ah, that was a very close one with an open net, but the puck went past uh, under the legs of, uh, under the skates rather, of uh, Alexander Schwierk. So he failed to utilize that opportunity. But still, Chestrali has position of the puck. It's uh, a little collision, but not offensively, and the referee allows the play, and it's another goal by Ivan Ketchkin again. It's 2-0 to Chestrali, and we have 1 minute and 23 seconds on the clock. This time, he was assisted by the number nine player, Alexander Schwier. You don't get to see him so much, or rather I don't get to see him so long on the pitch today, but I guess the substitute players uh, have not yet arrived. It's early, it's the first game of the day. Even for the Moscow Schlon team, uh, they just had their first substitute player come in. Alexander Schwert has really done well to get that assist for his team and uh, prepare the second goal and uh, he has some credits to his name. Not the first time of course, but in this first game of the day, what a good way to start the day. Uh, hijacked the puck. By Moskowski Echelon uh, now has to do the defensive work, which they uh, kind of did, but uh, the, the puck actually went past their goal post. The possession seems to be almost equal, and uh, first third is over. Ending with two goals to Chester Lee. Uh, both goals caught here. Ivan Ketchkin assisted by Pablo Kutyakov and uh, Alexander Schmidt. And no goal to Moscow Station. Have a little break and resume. And we are back in the second third. The second period, there's some choose to call it. Uh, the players for the teams have switched sides. Now we have uh, Moskowski Echelon playing from right to left, while uh, 
the Strolli and now playing from left to right. Uh, we resume the second third uh, with an advantage on the side of the Chestrolli players. Two goes up and they just had their third one so early in the first 30 seconds of the second third. And this time we had a goal by Maxim Antonov number five and once again assisted by uh, number nine player Alexander Schwed. It's three goals to nothing to Chestroli. Two goals to Ivan Keshkin, two assists to Alexander Schwed and one goal and one assist to Maxim Antonov and Pavel Kudyakov respectively and Moskovsky Echelon are yet to get a goal we want to catch Kenny position of the puck for Chester Lee planning the attack behind the goal playing hide and seek with the opening. There have been an offense by the Chestrali player number seven, uh, Ramiz Ganyev, for putting his uh, stick over through the goal in, uh, in trying to get the puck. And the referee has stopped the game and called for face off. After face up done, Chestrali once again have the position of the puck and is Ivan catching again behind the goal. But this time he starts with a short pass to his player, uh, Maxim Antonov, uh, Pavel Kutyakov, sorry. And they are on the attack. Uh, repelled by uh, Grigori Murashev. A very close one, the almost open net to Pavel Kutyakov who gave the assist, he could have gotten his own goal but uh, he failed to connect with the puck and the puck has been stolen by uh, Alexander Schwed from the Moscow Slash Lounge once again in the hands of the Chester Valley players this time number 5 player Maxim Antonov the goal scorer. He has a goal to his name already today. And he advances past the Ivan Ketchkin, trying to make a pass and a shoot at once, but uh, he was uh, tackled or marked by the opponent number seven, Ganyev, Ramiz. So he wasn't able to get the shot he wanted. And Kutiakov probably get a shot direct on goal. After a pass, of course, but he was repelled again by um, Grigory Morashov, who has not actually been so bad today, but uh, still he has three goals against him. That does not make him a bad goaltender, just maybe we could say makes the goal scorers good goal scorers. Advancing is Maxim Antonov of Chestrelli, making some nice moves, going around the pitch, looking for whom to pass to, and he gets to Ivan Ketchkin, number 8, who goes behind the ball once again, and uh, making his plan for his attacking move. He give a long pass up front, a short one, or go himself. Players are roaming about the ice rink, making chances for a pass. And he gives a long pass uh, to Kutyakov Pavel, but uh, he failed to trap it. It goes into the hands of Moskov Kessler, but it has been regained. And once again, Moskov Kessler has the pass, has the puck, making the attacking moves. Five minutes and 25 seconds left, a nice shot. On goal by number six player of uh, Moscow's case on Pavel Vasilev. But uh, Vasily Lapchenkov of 
Moskovsky uh, Slav Shestroli did well to stop his shot and maintain his clean sheet at the moment. It's exactly five minutes left on the clock. Three goals to Shestroli and no goal to Moskovsky Echelon. Echelon is on the move. Uh, Shestroli is on the move. Good pass, good interception. The possession regained by the Shestroli players and Ivan Keshkin is once again using the behind, if we must put it that way, of his goal net. Once again, he gives a long pass up front to force the attack against the opponent. They have the pot in their hands. Pavel Kutiako he goes behind but still goes by himself. He gets into attacking position. They are now in the zone of uh, Oskovsky Echelon trying to cause further damage. The Echelons already have a mountain to climb. Three goals and they have uh, just uh, less than four minutes. Nice shot by number three player um, Makari Yurov. But uh, Vasily Lapshinkov did so well to claim the puck into his glove and uh, prevent a goal. He claimed that shot after a bounce on his leg pad. Ivan Ketchkin playing from both ends, left and right, up and down, backward and forward, making wonderful moves and doing well to keep possession of the puck still. That is incredible. He's one of the best players, best movers, best dribblers in this tournament. And of course, he scores the goal as well. Today he has already made uh, two goals to his name. on the attack nice shot but the puck went uh, went out of play puck is out of play so we have a new puck by the referee and then uh, we have a face off as a rule and then the game will continue First of done, puck went into the hands of uh, uh, Ivan Keshkin of number, uh, number 8 of uh, Shestroli and he gave a very good shot straight on target which was blocked and saved by Grigory Morashev of Muskovsky Eshlov. One minute and 40 seconds left to play in this second third. Good shot, but it went to the face mask of uh, Grigory Morashov. The shot by Pavel Kutyakov. The goaltender is being checked up, and uh, once he's done and everything is fine, we'll resume the game. I think he's fine. He's putting back his mask, and uh, we are now waiting for the referee. There's a play on. There's a play on, playing on. The golden that gives a nod of confirmation that is good. And face off on the half of uh, Moscow Station that the puck was last used, played, and we are resumed. So far, Shestrali has been in control of this game, trying to get even more damage to the opponent. But uh, this time they have been denied. They have been denied so far uh, since the first 30 seconds of the second third. 
They are playing nine minutes already and no goal so far from either team. Just to clear, have control of this game since the beginning. Moskovsky Echelon has not done so much uh, to cause worries to the uh, Moskovsky, uh, to the Chesterly players, the Chesterly goaltender. And you can see it tells on the score line. It's still no goal to uh, Moskovsky Echelon. Five seconds, there are about now to play in this second third. They tried to get a goal to pull back the deficit, but they failed to do so, and second third is over. And we finish it. Three goals to Chester Lee, no goal to Moskowski. Echelon. Second intermission. We are ready to resume the game. Third, final third of this game. This very first game today. Uh, the first off has been done and we are back in the game. Final 10 minutes for Chester Lee to hold on to their lead, maybe extend it. Or for Chester Lee, for Moskovsky Echelon to give us a surprise package and uh, pull back into the game and uh, maybe win it sounds very unlikely magical but uh, of course it is possible they just join us it's the first game of the day in, the, in this tournament between uh, Moskovsky Echelon in red and white this was Chester uh, Lee in white and green. And Chester Lee has the lead. Three goals to nothing. The Stop League International Short Hockey Federation. First game of the today's game series. Moskovsky Echelon is really trying to push out the players of uh, Chester Lee. To avoid any further delays on the time, they are way behind, they are so behind, they want to make up and utilize every second possible. Three goes down, a lot of mountains to climb. That was a close one to get another goal, but he hit the crossbar. He hit the bar of uh, where you go, you more show. That was a good shot by Pavel to take off. Maximum turnover. Close attempt, close attempt, a maximum turnover again. But uh, Grigory Murashov stood his ground. Just really had the position, have the position, sorry. Hijacked the puck, just few seconds ago, but Moskovsky Echelon has gained the possession, pushing on the attack, trying to get that goal, nice shot, 
Very close one, as close as it gets, but it just goes a couple inches over the bar on the net. Just really once again, he seems to be putting on the pressure in this final third. A lot of pressure on the Shestrali side. Now giving um, Vasily Lapchenko more work to do than the previous uh, two thirds of this game. That's a good thing, that's a good sign, but uh, is it good enough given the time at hand? Six minutes, 40 seconds left to play. Simon Tonov. He had to decide his attacking move. But also to the advantage, the time is counting down, decreasing the chances for, for Moskovsky to get anything out of this game. Nice one, nice shot yeah, by Pavel Kutyakov after a good pass by Ivan Kechkin. It was close, even the goaltender almost missed it. it was kind, kind of lucky to still have the puck just beside him. But it went into the goal. So Alexander Schwedt. Pass back. Maxim. Antonov. But failed to get it on goal. However. Kind of see up the possession of the puck, even though there is a, a battle for it, a hustle for it. We're waiting for the puck to be out, and, <laughs> and who gets the puck? Uh, the referee is making some boxing signs and boxing moves to represent the fight going on. And I went on uh, doing the a war for possession of the puck when it was in a very tight corner. He's out. It's in the hands of the most costly echelons who are trying still hard to get that very much needed goal to put down the deficit before it gets even uh, worse and before the time goes even further. But uh, so far, this Poland tells you they have been denied by Shostoli. Still no goal to Moskovsky Eshel. They have been having early goals in every third, in the previous two thirds. But uh, this time, um, Moskovsky Eshel are not letting the goal because they really want to get the goal. But Chester Lee also haven't been letting the goal, but now Chester Lee gets the goal. He gets the goal, the fourth goal of the game. Scored this time by Pavel Kutekov finally. I've been waiting for a goal for him, from him to add to his assist and he does so. And this time the two-time goal scorer gives the assist. Ivan Ketchkin. It's 3 minutes and 50 seconds left to play. We have a little timeout. And it's 4 goals to Chest Trulli. 2 goals to Ivan Ketchkin. Two goes to Ivan Ketchkin, 
one goal each to Pavel Kutyakov and uh, Maxim Antonov and no goal to Moskovsky Echelon. back into the game players are ready to resume taking positions and uh, we have been a face off in the middle of the eyes ring and um, just really takes possession of the puck it's one catch game the two time goal scorer in this game and also given an assist good shot Nice attempt on goal. But, uh, the goal Morishov does not let the fifth goal in his goal net. Skovsky Echelon has possession of the puck. I don't know what they can do in three minutes, but they are really trying hard to get a goal, maybe a consolation goal, maybe just to put them in deficit, I don't know, but uh, uh, it's, it's practically visible that uh, they're trying to get that goal. It's four goals down, it's, uh, it's a lot to climb in two minutes and 40 seconds left in this game. I think uh, Chester Lee now can say they have this game in their hands. Nothing, and no magic. Good shot, and number four player Gleb Morulev of um, Moskovsky Echelon, but uh, still no goal. In there is nothing Moskovsky Echelon can do uh, to get back into this game. Just really, really trying hard to get one more goal, to get that extension of their lead, and two times they have been so close to doing that. But uh, those two times also, they closely missed it. But yet they have position of the puck in the last two minutes of the game. Good attempt and the puck goes into the net. Scored by Maxim Antonov, number five player. That's his second goal of the game. Great wish. And once again, Ivan Ketchkin gets an assist, two assists and two goals. He is on fire. It's the fifth goal of the game. All five goals to Chest Trolley. And not one goal to Moskovsky Yeshlo. It's one minute and 48 seconds on the clock. And we resume in the first half. Chester Lee in possession, missed it and gave it away. Chester Lee has lashed Skolsky Echelon and they seem to want more. Even in this last one and a half minute, they seem to want one more at least. They are not giving Moskovsky Echelon a chance, they have not given them a chance because there is no chance anymore for them 
to do anything in this game. The final third and just about a minute left to play and there are five goals down. Five goals in one minute is practically impossible. Unless the players stand and do nothing. Oh, yeah. Five penalty shootouts and all five are scored. That is the only way I can anticipate a pos uh, possibility of pulling back five goals in less than a minute. But uh, that, of course, is not going to happen. Not today. 30 seconds left on the clock. Five goals to Shestroli. Good dribble, nice dribble by Pavel Kutyakov, and he laughs about it, he makes jokes about it. He enjoyed that one. 15 seconds. Kowski Echelon are losing their first game of the day in a big, big margin. And Chester Lee gets the first win of the day in a grand style. Five goals to Moskowski, five goals to Chester Lee and no goal to Moskowski Echelon. First game is over. See you in the next game. Bye.
All right, welcome to the second game of the day. It's a game between um, Legion Ivani versus uh, Relit. And uh, Relit are playing in white and light blue, or sky blue, from left to right. While uh, Legion Ivani are playing from right to left in the uh, black and white camouflage. Um, we have our first 10 minutes of, the, of this game and, uh, in the lineup. For the sides of uh, where I like to have uh, number one player, the uh, goaltender James are gave number four Tom Tom Shilin, number eight Ivan the Russian. We have number six Philip Filippo. We have number ten Nikolai Mamchenko. We have number seven Andrei Borisov, and number nine Yevgeny Kostin. And uh, for the the Geneva side, we have the goaltender number one Andrei. Gushenko number 3, Ivan Petin number 6, Ivan Agapov number 10, Vladimir Harvet number 7, Vladimir Rybakov number 5, Grigory Baranchukov and number 8, Dmitry Gavrilovich <laughs> If you have been following, you know players to watch out for today in the legend of any side at least in, uh, number 7 and 8, Vladimir Rybakov, Dmitry Gavrilovich Of course, you cannot um, count out all the players I'm just saying if you had to mention one or two players and the Mikey Sweetly Rallet side Danny Costin uh, Danny Costin has the puck now looking for him to pass to get the pass the number 10 player who gets a great goal Nikolai Mamchenkov his first goal of the day goal by Nikolai Mamchenkov number 10 assisted by Danny Costin number 9 Lesson. Lesson. Three minutes played. It's two minutes and fifty seconds played. And uh, we already have our first goal scored by uh, Mikey Rallet, Mikey Spitlow Rallet side. Uh, Evgeny Kostin was, was the assistant, and uh, Nikolai Momchenkov, number 10, got the goal 1 0. There were some technical delays that has been fixed and now we are ready to resume the game. There will be a face-off in the middle of the ice ring after a goal by rule that should be done. And then uh, of course the face-off is conducted by the referee and then two players, one from each side, have to fight for uh, the possession of the puck immediately after the face-off. That gives an advantage to either get a shot depending on the position of the face-off or at least start the attacking move. Uh, so it's two minutes left, two minutes played, and about eight minutes left to play, and we already have our first goal by Coralix, courtesy of the number ten player Nikolai Mamchenko, and assisted by number nine Evgeny. Posting. Usually, or most times, we get assistant goals by close numbers. For the Legiani by his side, is usually number seven and eight, Vadim and Gavrilovic. And here we are seeing nine and ten, Geni, Posting, and uh, Nikolai Mamchi. The ball goes out of play. The game has been stopped. There will be a face-off again in uh, the, the side, the court, the half of uh, Legion of Rainy and we will continue our game. Face-off done for a late possession of the court. 
in a costume looking for whom to give the pass but he gives a bad pass and they have lost the possession he's running he's now in possession but him never got doing some nice moves and nice dribbles that was a close one he did just a little touch but um, some defense uh, some from uh, the rallied side did not allow it to be crowned with a goal that was another very close one nice up through pass, front through pass. Um, Nikolai Mamchenko would have gotten his second goal. He was so close to doing that. But uh, the tip of uh, the pads of uh, Atiyom Sergei, oh, sorry, Andrei Mushenko saved uh, him from getting or uh, conceiving his second goal of the day. This game, rather. Right, huh? End of the day. This is your first game of the day. Number five player, Gregory Baranchukov, making plans for his attack from behind his goal. Gives a pass to Vadim Rybakov, who is now on the move. And they have their goal. Is a quick equalizer. A very quick one. I'm not surprised. And this time. Is um, scored by Dimitri Gavrilovic. Uh, sorry, scored by Vadim Rybakov and assisted by Dmitry Gavrilovic and once again we have uh, number successions 7 and 8 like I told you Vadim Rybakov, Dmitry Gavrilovic two players to watch in the Legiani Vaini side today and just now they have proved me right with a goal and an assist each for them and also once again we have the numbers 9 and 10, goal and assist, assist and goal for Alex, and now uh, 7 and 8, goal and assist for Ryan. How cool is that? And I'm so sure this is not the last goal of this game. If we get in this first, third, I don't know, but... Definitely, there will be a couple more goals before this game is over. The any by any side are known to score goals. And on a good day for Alex, they do get the goals as well. Attacking move by Lejani Vaini has been uh, nullified by the Raleigh side. Raleigh's have position. That would have been a nice one, but I, thought, I think they misunderstood themselves who was going to take the final shot. Uh, I think there was one too much pass. And uh, they missed that chance. Two players against the bully. Now uh, the Vainese in the uh, position of the puck. position and then we will go again nice shot by Ivan Petty another shot again by Lidiani Vainis they keep coming and keep coming and keep coming but uh, so far they have not been able to get their second goal and we have two and a half minutes on the clock left to play in this first third Ivan Petty crosses goes behind the goal he has the support from Vadim Yurakov but he chooses otherwise and uh, he misses 
if he loses possession of the puck, he is very gory. And sorry, he will be any question. Less than two minutes to play. Can a team take the lead before we go on a break? But then we back off. Nice dribble. He's once again the connection between uh, seven and eight. But then we back off and then we back off. But he uh, missed his final touch of the puck. And he could not get the ball, the puck, into the back of the net. But then we back off again. Passes. The little Brian Chukov who gets a good shot on goal, but uh, it was blocked by Sergei Atiyom Sergeyev. Well, let's have a possession of the puck. A long pass up front. One minute to play. Teams are fighting for the lead. Quick sub by Alex. Pretty much allowed, very much allowed in the game of hockey. No ceremonial uh, substitutions like in the game of soccer. Good shot by the goal scorer Nikolai Mamchenkov of the Rallets, but I uh, went a few inches past the goal. Alex are on the counter, looking like it, but uh, the counter was uh, unnullified because they had less players than their defensive side, than the opponent, opposing side. It's 10 seconds left to play, and uh, we are equal on both sides. It's first third is over. It's the end of first third. It's 1 1 to each team. Intermission break and we will resume. The second third is underway. Uh, face off has been conducted, and uh, the first position of this second third goes to Little Never Any Side. Uh, currently, the puck is in possession of uh, Ivan, uh, sorry, in possession of Barachukov, uh, <coughs> who has released the puck to Vadim, and Vadim sends a long pass off for forcing the attack, and uh, it came back to him. And now he's giving us some nice dribbles and nice moves and he did so well getting bypass to three players. He is indeed a player to watch, I said at the beginning of the game. And there is a foul. Sorry, there's a goal, but uh, it has to be reviewed by the referee before the final decision will be made if it counts or not. We'll be waiting. But at the moment, uh, Legiani Vaini now playing from left to right, and uh, Riley's playing from right to left. Usually, as a rule, there's a switch of sides after the first break period. We're waiting for the referee's decision.
and it's no goal. The goal is cancelled. The scoreline remains 1-1. One, one. one goal to Legion Ivani and one goal to Morales. It's a foul and it will be played by Dmitry Gavrilovic who gets a good shot but not good enough to get past the <coughs> goaltender of the Violet, Atem Sergeyev. Atem Sergeyev saves his team from going behind in this game. Resume at 1 1 to both sides. One goal to each team. Gianni Vaini on the attack and a good pass, but uh, Van Petin failed to connect to the puck and he missed his goal scoring opportunity. That was a very good one. Now Raleigh's up position of the puck. Trying to see what they can do for mid or with it rather. Nice moves, great shot. Blocked by uh, Andrei Gushenko. But the referee has stopped the game because the puck goes out of play. And now we will have a face off and we will continue our game. players, one from each side, face up, Riley's best position, and we are back, this is his pass, Yeri Vani has possession, all teams are doing so well, all teams are doing so well, pressing their opponents, no sluggishness, no dull game, Hard to say one team is dominating the other. Even the scoreline shows uh, it's one goal to each side. The attacking moves are pretty much equal, and the uh, goaltenders are doing quite well, even though they are considered one each. And uh, no dominance so far. The last few seconds, or minute even. Been Morales uh, pushing on the attack and giving uh, Andre Gushenko a lot of work to do, and he has been up to the task. Seven minutes on the clock left to play in this second third, and uh, we are yet to get a goal. Anybody now having the chances in these last few seconds, two at least chances have been uh, considered or created rather, but uh, no goal to follow it up. The intensity of the game has increased, it's hotter now, more interesting now, both for us watching and I guess both for the players themselves because they must love. A good game. Little Gabrilovic. Passes. To Baran Chukov, who gives a shot. And Ivan Putin was unable to connect finally to it. Gabrilovic. He blocked uh, Tom Shilin. Back up goes to the rescue. Shilling with the puck. Passes to Nikola and Manchinko. He gave the position away. But then the back up. Good drive, good pauses, nice pass, good shot, but uh, not good enough to get a goal. Rallets. On the move. 
block by Jack and lost position again. He's rallied once again. Nice pass out front. This communication there sends the puck backward. Again, is a nice pass through the skates of Ivan Petsin. Setting up a good attacking move, good attacking position for Rales, but uh, no connection yet. Slijani Vaini on the move. Enough. I'm loving this game more and more every minute, every second. The intensity is so high, the players are just up and doing, no time to slack, no time to relax, just work, work, work. Good, very close one for Lady Jenny Vaini, uh, Baron Chukov. But, uh, Achim Sergeyev. Claims the puck. Morales. Right, Left to right. Turns to back. Up and down. Roaming. Filipov. Good shot. After a pass, and without a pass, it was a good shot, but without a pass, so it does not count. And whether it is a foul and is a warning, a couple more of that will be a penalty against Morales. Great shot by Ivan Petin, but it falls into the gloves of Tiom Sergei. Jenny Vaini was so close to getting another goal. You hear the clubs and sticks clashing. And then Riles gets an, uh, a counter attack, but uh, Jenny Vaini was able to save their nets from getting another goal. Two and a half minutes left to play. It's still 1 1. Pass and goal. Pass and a goal. Vadim Ibakov assists. Gavri uh, Baranchuk. This time Vadim Ibakov gets an assist to his name. And uh, Grigory Baranchuk of number five gets a goal. And it's Lidiani Vaini taking the lead in the last part of the second third. They were once behind from the beginning. They drew it back on level times and now they are in front. And Morales lost their lead, lost level times. Now they have to come from behind to get something out of this game. Two goals to Lijani Vaini, one goal to Svetli, Mikey Svetli Morales. Wonderful shot, another shot on rebound, third shot on rebound. Uh, Morales repelling every one of them, and the Lidiani Vaini keeps going and keeps going and keeps going. 
giving O'Reilly something to worry about and yet another shot, but not getting into the goal. Danny Vainey, they are on fire with the shot. And uh, Atiyam Sergeyev has a lot of pressure on him right now, but he is doing well to uh, avoid the goals. Is this a counter? Well, it misses the chance to get a counter. It's 23 seconds left. Can they equalize? Or are we going into the final third with an advantage to the Gianni Vani after coming from behind? Good chance by Oralex. The Gianni Vani. Good chance, very close one. Two times, but they failed to add to the lead. The score stands two goals to Legiani Vaini and one goal to Oralex. Next is the final third of this game. And we are ready to resume the game into the final third of this uh, second game of the day. Players are in their positions to be a face off, and O'Reilly has the first position in this final third. Legiani Vaini starting this third with an advantage, a one goal advantage, and leading two goals to one. After coming from behind, O'Reilly first had the goal. The goal scored by Nikolai Mamchenko, who was assisted by number 9, Vinny Austin. And that didn't last long. And Vadim uh, Vibakov took an assist from Dmitry Gavilovich and equalized shortly after. That was a good one, but uh, he missed it just inches apart away from the goal. And then in the second, third, in the first and in the second third, uh, Legiani Vaini took the lead when Vadim uh, Vakov this time gave the assist and uh, Grigori Baranchukov sent it home. Legiani Vaini, very close chance. All he needed was a little touch of the stick, but uh, it was a game of speed. It was a game of speed, and uh, Achim Sergeyev seemed to be faster at that moment, and he claimed the puck before Ivan Petit, but in Rivakov, to get the puck and drive it into the back of the net. has a counter, but uh, the uh, Eugenie Austin feels to get a good pass to his teammate up front. Eugenie Vaini. Miscommunication, misunderstanding in the pass, but still 
was able to claim it. Baranchukov with a shot, but blocked by Nikolai Monchenkov, and it slowly and sluggishly crept into the hands of Chiom Sergei. Just joining us. This is the final third of this game between uh, Oralet and the Jenny in the International Short Hockey Federation. Top league. This is the second game. First game we already had Moskovsky Echelon against uh, Chestroli. And Chestroli crushed Moskovsky Echelon by five goals to nothing. What a way to open the day's game. Let's try hard to get an equalizer. Really pushing it. They're doing quite well at it. They have just failed to get the goal to round it all up. Good shot by Ravilovic. But I think this against so Dave gets the puck. Gives it away, but then Murakov claims it. Anybody needs any possession, but then Murakov making nice dribbles, nice turns and twists. And he goes past one player, two players, three players. Nice pass to uh, Grigory Baranchukov. Of doing so well with his dribbles, a very good pass right in front of goal to Grigory uh, Baranchukov, but uh, that was not a goal as we would have expected. A little touch, send it to the back of the net. We had a face off in the middle of the ice ring, and uh, the game is still on. Halfway gone this final third, five minutes gone, five minutes left. And uh, Jenny Vaini is in the lead after coming from behind. I'm expecting at least a goal more from either team. A goal to put it back on level terms. Or a goal for Ligiani Vaini to extend the lead and uh, get a convincing first win of the day for their team. Ligiani Vaini, good pass, nice dribble, and is um, Dmitry Gavrilovic giving the assist to Ivan Petin. Ivan Petin gets his first goal of the day after a wonderfully crafted work by Dmitry Gavrilovic. And of course also a wonderfully executed goal by Ivan Petin. And I told you the more goals. We're expecting at least one goal and right away it's the goal already. Legendary Vaini extends the lead. It's two goals up. Three goals to Legendary Vaini, one goal to Rallets. The Vainis, uh, the Rallets have pulled out their goalie uh, in anticipation for a higher chance of uh, getting a goal with an extra man up front in the uh, outfield. But uh, that does not always work. That is no guarantees. That is no guarantee to get. A goal or even goals but we'll see how well it worked for them today a couple of times they've done that but uh, it led to no goal and rather most times it also leads to conceiving another goal and adding to the mountain they already have to climb The 
seem to be pressing at the moment with that extra man. Seems like they know how to use the extra man, but uh, the journey value also seems like they know how to defend. Again, that would have been a goal. But, uh, the, the crossbar. And the uh, Rallets are really fighting so hard. They are really showing the difference in the extra man. And uh, they still cannot get the goal because Legionne Vaini are putting on a strong attacking game against them. Legionne Vaini have not had any attacking moves since they took out their goalie. And uh, since Legionne Raleigh took out their goalie. Uh, but um, still, Raleigh have not had the, the goal they have been looking for. Actually, they need two goals to get back on level terms and push this game to a post-match shootout. But uh, it's less than two minutes left to play and they are yet to score one goal and they have two goals deficit. Did anybody need to try it? Morales gains it back. Really, they are taking the advantage of the extra man, but uh, it's not giving them the result they want. It's one minute and 30 seconds on the clock left to play. Geneva in his possession. Alright, get another goal to add to their problems. Ivan Petin gets his second goal and Gavrilovic Dimitri gets his second assist of the day. And it's a nightmare for Ralex. Pulling out the goalie, hoping to get the goal and goals rather to get back into the game. But instead, they conceived another one and uh, increased. Their punishment. So it's four goals to the game and uh, one goal to Rallet. After scoring the very first goal, actually taking the lead early in the first third, now they have three goals behind, losing four goals to one. And it's less than half a minute to play. Rallets have a lot of work to do, not just in this game, but early in the tournament. They have had a series of losses recently. The referee will go to check the screen for reviews and to make a decision on what to do next. Maybe a foul or what? I don't know what happened there, but the referee just finished his review and uh, now we will know. There was a foul, an offensive move, a yellow card offense to wireless player number 10 Nikolai Momchenko. So it would be a penalty, a dual shootout by uh, Ivan uh, Petin. A chance to get a hat trick to his name and extend the lead further even.
and he just he does just that. His three goals to Ivan Petin, his hat trick for Ivan Petin, and his five goals to his team. Lediani Vaini has five goals consecutive after coming from behind. After conceiving the very first goal of the game, they are now leading by five goals to one. Hat trick to Ivan Petin. Another player with the three points today is uh, Dimitri Davilovic with two assists and a goal. And this game is over. Five goals to Legion Ivani with the hat trick for Ivan Petin. One goal each to Vadim Ivakov and Dimitri Gavilovic and one goal to Nikola Mimchukov of Morales. The game is over. See you in the next game. Bye.
ladies and gentlemen, is the third game of today. Um, and it's a game between Almit versus Moskowski Echelon. It's the first game for Almit and it's the second game for Moskowski Echelon. Almit playing from left to right in their star jerseys. The blue and red. And uh, Moskowski Echelon this time playing in white and red. From right to left and Amiet from left to right. Amiet score uh, uh, Sorry, the lineup for Amiet will have uh, Gregor Yumurashi in the goal. And then we have number 8 Maxime Repin, number 5. Ilya Karlin, number 3 Alexandre Sajinkov, number 10 Artem Shulev, number 4 Arseny Lashinov, and number 7 Gleb Miroshnikov. And for Moskovsky Echelon, we have Vasily Lapshinkov, the goalie, number 1. Then we have number 6 Pavel Vasilev, number 7 Ramiz Ganyev, number 9 Makari Yurov, number 5 Mikhail Zarezki, number 8 Sergei Gusarov, number 5. Number 4, sorry, Gleb Morulev. And is the first goal for. Moskovsky Echelon and is coming early in the game with 1 minute and 20 seconds played. The goal scored by number 5 player Mikhail Zareski and assisted by number 6 Pavel Vasiliev. If you have been following us, you will have noticed the series and the pattern of close numbers. We have had 9 and 10, we have had 7 and 8, and this time we're having 5 and 6. And Moskovsky Echelon takes the lead. It's one goal to nothing. Face off after the puck went out of play. And uh, Moskowski Echelon has possession of the puck. It's been driven by number four player Gleb Morulev. And he gives it out to number six, the assistant. The goal, Pavel Vasiliev. Amir takes possession. A nice counter and a goal. A nice pass and a sweet goal by number seven player, whom I'm not surprised to score a goal, Gleb Miroshnikov. And he got the cool as you like it assist by number four player Arseny Lashenov. That was a quick reply by the Mietz team, courtesy of uh, Gleb Miroshnikov number seven and Arseny Lashenov number four. It's 1-1 one, one. and it's barely two, three minutes play and we have two goals already. A quick reply is always the best reply in a game of sports. Nice attempt to take back the lead by Moskowski Echelon. A shot by number six player who gave the assist before Pavel Vasilev, but uh, he was denied by Grigory Murashev. Echelon goes again, denied again. Grigory Murashev and no change to the scoreline. Let me rush Mikov on the move. He's possessed. Good chance. Echelon, but they missed it. Amit on the attack failed to get their counter play out for them well, but they still have possession of the puck. Let me rush Mikov. To Glenn Mugulev, passes and shoots by Makari Yurov, but uh, the puck goes out of play after uh, a good save by the goal. Then the goal me at Gregory Marasho. Uh, he just got his mask, his helmet, so he was fixed. 
now there will be a face off in the half of our minutes and we will continue the game face off and Moskowski echelon has possession Daniel, nice shot blocked again by Grigori Morashev our mate early in this game already he's still first uh, Barely five minutes played, and we've seen two goals and uh, a pretty high intensity of the game. It's so interesting. That was a very nice pass, but uh, he just skimmed through, skimmed past, and uh, he failed to connect it and get a good goal for his team. Yeah, we play. Yes, on the move. Nice pass, nice move. Promising attacks, but uh, was not followed up by a goal. Defended out. Leba, Miroshnikov. With the puck, this is a short range, close range pass to number five player Ilya Karlin. Akari Yurov passes back to Ramiz Ganyev. This was cash in possession. Okay, so we their first game today, the very first game of the day with the Chester League. We had lost uh, tragically, tragically, five goals to nothing. And uh, yeah, they took the lead, but our mates are recognized. And our mates are in front. Ilya Karlin, number five, gets the goal to put his team in front and was assisted by the goal scorer, the first goal scorer for the team, Gleb Miroshnikov. Gleb Miroshnikov gets an assist after a goal and uh, Ilya puts his team in front. It's two goals to our mates after coming from behind, now in front and now uh, an echelon still has one goal only. Again before this, Rylet had the first goal, but uh, Gianni Vaini came from behind and took the lead, a very huge lead, five goals to one, and uh, now we are seeing again, Moskowski Echelon had the first goal, and now they lost the lead, they are not only equalizing, they are not even equalizing uh, in equal terms, on equal terms, but uh, now they are losing. Mets are in front. Is this a repeat of the previous game? We have about 23 minutes to know. Three minutes left on the clock, and then another 10 minutes each for the next two thirds of the game. And Mets on the move. comes to the rescue and he goes back to his goal and meets once again on the move Glenn Roshnikov nice pass great shot by number five who scored in Lin Ilya Karlin but uh, this time uh, Vasily Lachinkov says no Glenn Roshnikov and meets on the move again Good shot and a nice save by Vasily Lapchenko to deny Amir their third goal. It's two minutes left to play. Can the uh, echelons uh, bring the game back on equal terms before the first third is over and they can resume the second third uh, without a deficit? 
will admit let that happen. Came so close right in front of the goalie, but uh, the hit was not strong enough to push the uh, puck past into the back of the net. So there's no change in the scoreline. Long pass up front from behind his goal. Net in possession. Number 10, Achim Shulio. Gives to number 4, Aseni Lashinov, uh, who had an assist. And number 8 tries to score Martin Repin, but uh, the puck has been claimed by Moskovsky Echelon. It's 20 seconds left to play in this first third. And Armiet tries to steal the puck and they succeed that would have been a third goal but it just went a few centimeters past the goal post it's the end of this first third is Moskovsky Echelon 1 losing their lead to Almiet 2-1 break time and next is second third Second third is underway. And now we have uh, Moskovsky Echelon playing from left to right. And uh, Arimia is playing from right to left. There have been a switch of sides as a rule of the game. Usually of any sports, mostly. And uh, Arimia is resuming with an advantage. One goal lead. Two goals to one to Moskovsky Echelon. We are in front at the beginning of uh, the first third when they scored their first goal and the first goal of the game. Which was equalized quite shortly afterwards. And then later, Armiet had the second goal and took the lead. is uh, International Shop and Federation Top League and is our third game of the day and the second game for Moscow Station it was their first game to Shestrini and this time they are behind and it's the second third already that was a beautifully fought goal he fought to get that goal, he fell and still went for it, no giving up, and he got his goal. So it's a goal for 
Uh, Ramiz Ganiev. I think he was assisted by Gleb Marulev. And we are back on level terms. It's 2-2. Two -two. 8 minutes and 28 seconds left to play on the ground. Another early goal by Moscow's Kleshlon. In the beginning of the third. We will get the uh, reply by our mates. And how soon, if they will. That was a very close one by Moscow's Kleshlon to now take the lead again. That was shot by Zareski who had the first goal but uh, he, he failed to get to the back of the net and the scoreline stands at 2-2 two -two. Scott Skeslon has the shot, the player was down a little protest by sound but the referee said nothing Echelon on the move. I jacked by our mates. He tried to cause the goalkeeper to get an own goal. Player number 10 of our mates. Uh, we have our team Shulev, but uh, the player was the goal defender uh, Vasily Lapshinov was smart enough to prevent that from happening or oh, quick enough rather or both scarcely on the possession quick substitution by Echelon money for a ceremony like in football on the attack and failed to get a good shot number four player Sini Lapshinov who had an assist and that is a good goal a wonderful goal a nice pass and a good shot by number eight player Maxim Repin of Armiet and Armiet have the lead once again. And he was assisted this time by uh, Aktiom Shulev number 10. And Armiet are once again in front. And Moskowski Eshlon once again behind. Three goals. Two goals. Moskowski Eshlon. And once again, I need to have replied uh, in a short time after conceiving a goal by Moscow. Special. But this time, their reply does not put them on equal terms, but their reply puts them in the lead. Long had it almost dispossessed by Glenn Roshnikov, but uh, he failed to, uh, to realize and recognize the position of the puck, and so it went back into the hands of the Moskowski Echelons. And yet, and a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful goal. Another goal, this time scored by the assistant, Atiyom Shulev. Atiyom Shulev number 10, he gets an assist and now he gets a goal. And the goal scorer, Maxim Repin, becomes the assistant. Mietz are two goals up. Four goals to Mietz and two goals to Moskovsky Eshel. It's five minutes played.
ball this time from Moskovsky Echelon does not put them a new body and it only cuts down on the deficit and they almost added to the lead but uh, they failed to do that uh, because uh, a silly lapsing goal was uh, really up to the task of avoiding that to happen. <laughs> that was a funny case just now. The player was given the pass. The player number six of uh, Almiet. Uh, so the player number five of Almiet, India Karolin. But uh, he was fixing his shots and uh, <laughs> he did not know uh, the puck was coming to his direction. He had to be called up by his teammates. And then he went after the puck. Let me rush Good deceptive pass. Almost worked out well. But it's pretty interesting to watch, even though it led to no goal. Three and a half minutes to play. Amit now lead. The lead by two goals. Echelon had the very first goal of the game They're in front the mid are now in front by two goals Two and a half minutes to play. Fourteen minutes. Let me rush it. Driving, dribbling, finding for the best option. The pass to. That was a very good one. It's very close. Good pass, a good attempt, but it was blocked by Vasily Lachenko of uh, Moscow Special. And uh, the scoreline remains until now. They have changed the scoreline again. It's five goals to Almiet and two to Moskovsky Echelon after being in front. And this time we have the goal by. An already goal scorer, number five, Ilian Karlin, and uh, was assisted by Shulov. Atiom Shulov gets his second assist of the day, and he has one goal already to his name. It's five goals to two. Both catch on the move. Good shot. After a nice pass, but uh, not on target. Let me rush, Nico. He passes to number 10. I told Shule, who got the assist of the last goal. Let me rush, Nico, in the move. Echelon, but uh, claimed by a very good Russia of Amit. Less than one minute on the clock in the second third. Let's go to Echelon, and in the attacking move, and the lead has been taken. I am Miss Ganyev, but they have been sent back by Glenn Roshnikov. I 
our mates now have the puck in the last 15 seconds of this second third. 10 seconds to go. Moscow Special is trying to draw down or cut down the, um, the deficit. But they failed to do that in this second third. And we are going to a final third with five goals to our mates and two to Moskovsky Echelon. Next is the final third. Actually ready for the final third. The goal post of the Moscow Echelon side had to be uh, put well in place. And now we will have the final third begin. And it begins with our mates having the first possession. Our mates resume the game with uh, a huge, huge, huge advantage of three goals. And we have our uh, fourth advantage already for the Armenian team. The Moskovsky Echelons, we are not expecting that. And they think it's uh, a goal without an assist. So the referee will review it on the screen and then make his final decision. If it's 5-2 or it stands at 4-2. decision has been made and the goal is cancelled. It was not a good goal. There was a shot on the goal without a pass. So it's against the immediate teams, a foul against them and it's a warning. The score stands at 5-2 rather than not 6-2. Would have been 6 2 for goals advantage if the goal had counted. So the score remains 5 goals to Armit and uh, 2 goals to Moscow's creation. It's a 3 goal gap. It's 
a big, big mountain for Moscow's cash to supply. And it's already the final third. They have less than 10 minutes to do that. They scored two goals in the last 20 minutes. I wonder if they can score three goals in less than 10 minutes. And uh, Armiet have three goals, leading them five goals in 20 minutes. And I'm pretty sure Armiet want more goals and wouldn't just let three goals slide in uh, out of nowhere. So it's a very uh, difficult situation right now. Not impossible, but very difficult situation. For Moskowski uh, with this three goals deficit. So Armiet are not the team to let goals easily. They are also not the team to give uh, the slightest chances. They might not look like they are so dangerous, but uh, they get the goals, they get the job done. It would have been a good one if there was a finishing touch by number five player. Ilya Karlin, who had two goals already, he would have had his hat trick, but he failed to get a good connection with his stick and the puck. If he connected at all. Seven and a half minutes to play. Ilya Karlin. Passes. Number seven. Ilya Miroshnik. Who leaves the puck for number four. Achim Shule. Shuliev has two assists and a goal to his name today already. Skoski has won. Blocked. Uh, I would have been a nice quick pass and shoot, but uh, it was disrupted by a player in the uh, Skoski Ashland side. A great shot, very good shot by number five player. Ilya Karolin of Armiens, but uh, Vasily Lapchenko gets the puck into his catcher, his glove. Post Kershaw pushing forward, pushing forward. But uh, Grigory Morashev stood his ground and uh, he has been able to avoid the goal. Meet on the move. Nice pass, but uh, it was disrupted. It was interrupted by number four player, Le Mourinho, and uh, he did not get to the intended player that would have not been funny for Moskowski Echelon side. Even though five minutes and 42 seconds might not be able to to enable them and not be enough to enable them get a good, a good counter by a mid side but uh but still Lapchenko did so well to avoid a sixth goal today at this moment they have actually lost their first game of the day by also a huge margin five goals to nothing to Chesterly and now they are losing five goals Two. Let me rush it. Meet. Pushing so hard, nice shot, but was blocked and he went out of play. So the referee has scored for the game. If he stopped, he will have a face-off, and 
then the game continues. Face are done, the game continues. Smith Keshilon has position. Good shot. Blocked by Gleb Miroshnikov of Aumiet. Another good shot. This time blocked by the goaltender. Gleb Miroshnikov. Pass and shoot. A rebound. Another shot. But uh, no goal. Nice work by Moskovsky uh, Echelon, but still no goal. Three minutes, 20 seconds. And Mies leads. Five goals to two. Nice pass, a great shot. The ball goes, the puck goes out of play, and the game has been stopped for a phase off before continuation. Players are getting into positions. Face off. Two players from each side. Fighting for the first position after the face off. Almiet has a possession. A nice shot and goal by number five player, Ilya Torilin. His attack is denied him. So far, two minutes and a half of a minute. Pop and Jack in the Scouts Kershaw. Amir has it. Pass, good shot. Shot. He aimed for the roof of the goal post, but um, Vasily Lapchenko stops it. And here they go again. He has two against him. It's finally quite difficult. There's a fight, but he come out of it and missed his possession. And he lost it. Moskovsky Echelon now has one minute and 30 seconds to pull out a magic that I find impossible. Three goals in less than two minutes in the game of hockey. It's practically not possible. All things being equal. Two players versus the goaltender, but they failed to get the goal against our mates. Very good with Marasho. Outstood them. It's exactly one minute left on the clock. Moskowski Echelon on your way to having the second consecutive loss with five goals against them. This time they had two, they're having two goals to their name, but it's uh, still a lot. 30 seconds. Let me watch Nico. Doesn't seem to be satisfied. The whole of Aomi had seemed to want more goals. But uh, given the time left, that might not work because final third and the game is over. Five goals to Amiet and two goals to Moskovsky Echelon, the second loss of the day. See you in the next game. This one is over. Bye.
Hello viewers, ladies and gentlemen, it's the fourth game of the day. It's a game between Chestroli and Le Geneva Union. And this time we have uh, Chestroli in the green and white, playing from left to right. And we have Le Geneva in the light camouflage, uh, playing from right to left. In the lineup for Chestroli, we have Andrea Groshenko. On the goal, uh, the goaltender number one, we have number six, Sergei Holodnov, we have number three, Alexander Shved, we have number seven, Vladimir Kalugin, number five, Maxim Antonov, number eight, Ivan Kichkin, and number four, Pavel Kutyakov. And uh, with Geneva on his side, we have the goaltender number one, uh, Tiam Sergei, number three, Ivan Petin, number six, Ivan Agapov, number ten, Vladimir Haraspovich, Haravich. Seven for Dean Maribak of number five, Grigori Baranchuko, and no other person but number eight, Dmitry Gavrilovich. Today we've already seen uh, Dmitry Gavrilovich, number eight, and number seven, but Dean Maribak have some uh, exchanges and goals and assists. And uh, we've seen uh, Ivan Kichkin and Pavel uh, Kutyakov. Maxim Antonov also uh, even in the Divine side we've seen Baranchukov and Ivan Petin had his heart rate in the previous game. <laughs> so these are the two leading teams so far today and now they have a clash. Who will come out on top? Nice attacking position for Dmitry Gavrilovich, but, but he failed to get his goal in this game. Again, Vaini won their first game when they played against uh, Morales. They won five goals to one. After coming from behind, Shestrelli won Moscow's cash on five goals to nothing in the very first game. And now, the five goals, the two five goals winner teams, uh, five goal scoring teams, are at head to head. Good shot by Jimmy, uh, Grigory Baranchukov was blocked and then the puck went out of play so the game is stopped there will be a face off and the uh, most interesting thing about this uh, tournament is that uh, there are no draws there are no draws there must be a winner either during the regulation time or during a post match shootout so at the end of the day, one of these two teams will come up in front. And I'm sure either team will want to do it during the regulation time when they have better chances and better assurances. But uh, sometimes it does not work. However, so far today, there have been no post-match shootouts. All games have been decided during the first during the regulation time during the 30 minutes of play so we will see if that uh, series continues or if there will be uh, a change this time uh, there have been very nice attempts from both teams both teams are really giving the other teams uh, something to worry about Great shots on target, nice saves, nice attempts, dangerous moves, but uh, we are yet to record a goal for either of the teams. Either of the teams. The 
the end of the On the move. But you may back off. Good dribble, but hijacked by Ivan Kechkin. That would have been a good pass for a wonderful finish. But uh, the pass was blocked by Dimitri Davilovic. That would have been a pass from uh, number five player Maxim Antonio versus At this moment, five and a half minutes played. It's hard to say which team is, uh, is taking the lead or is having the better position or is being more dangerous. But just now, Alexandre Schwed just put his team in front. Shestrelli gets the first goal. Shestrelli gets the first goal, courtesy of Alexandre Schwed. And he was assisted by Maxim Antonov, who does well with assists actually. So Shestrelli in front. 4 minutes and 15 seconds on the clock to play. Shestrelli takes the lead. Face off in the center of the rising. And uh, we continue. Alexander Schwier is having a blast today. He had an assist in the previous game. He had an assist in the previous game. Two assists actually. And now he has gotten a goal. Very close one for uh, Ligiani Valley, but uh, the goaltender of Chesterly, Andrei Grushenko, Grushenko says no, not today. Maybe not now. But so far, not today. Good shot again. And Alexander Grushenko, Andrei Grushenko, once again claims the puck. He's doing quite well. Not quite well. He's doing really well so far. No goal against him yet. Chester Lee team players are kind of having fun. You see it on their faces. They are relaxed. No pressure. Ah, that would have been a second goal for the team for the game and for Alexander Schwed. Uh, a couple of inches past. On the right side of the goalpost. Nice move by Vadim Rybakov. Nothing surprising at all. He's good at that. Good shot. Good shot by Gregory Baranchukov of Legendary Vaini. Chester on the move. Alexander Shivet failed to get that second goal again. And this time it was shot by Ivan Ketchkin. Uh, but uh, Sergei, a uh, chance Sergei claimed the puck. Is anybody there? Maxim Anton. A little sportsman like fight for the, for the puck. Anybody has it? Nice pass, a missed shot, no goal. The intensity of this game started actually quite high, but now it has skyrocketed after the first goal. The Anybody, they are not a team that likes to lose. That would have been a second goal for Chester Lee, but he went on the crossbar and went out of play. I was saying Ligiani Vani are not a team that likes to lose. Well, no team likes to lose, but practically they have not been on the losing side for most of the games. So being behind right now is a very strong trigger, a very strong push to get a goal. Good shot, but uh, a chance I gave saved it and the goalpost moved, so the game has been stopped. The goalpost has been put back in place as a rule, the game has to be stopped, and then a face off will be conducted, and then we will uh, get back into the game. So, the genuine being behind is a lot of motivation to step up their game, and they have done just that. 
but also the Shastra Lee side are not relenting, they are not sleeping, they are not relaxing, they are making sure they will match up with the increased intensity from the Legendary Violin side and this makes the game even more interesting. Fifteen seconds left on the clock for this first third to be over and Chester Lee is leading this game. Five seconds. And the first third is over. It's one goal to Chester Lee, courtesy of Alexander Shivit, assisted by Marcel Matonov and no goal to Lee Vainin. Next is second third. Break now. Ready for the second set. We have started already now. And uh, 10 minutes on the clock as usual. We are resuming this game with uh, Chester Lee on the advantage. But uh, Dimitri Gabulovic tried to get um, an early goal, an early equalizer, but uh, was denied by Andrei uh, Goshenko. Now we have Chester Lee playing from right to left and 
Danny Vainé playing from left to right. I've been a switch of sides. Danny Vainé really forcing the attack. They're really getting into attacking positions quickly and more often. When given the barely two minutes played in one minute, they really want this ball quickly to get back uh, into this game and uh, fight for the win. And the, the earlier that is done, the better. Just relief. That was a very close one to double the lead, but uh, they were denied by a chance of the Just relief again. This time the game by me. Just relief steals the ball once again. Alexander Schwier. Fighting for the puck. Danny Vainu gets it, but uh, reclaimed by Chester Lee it's in the hands of Ivan Kitschke. He makes wonderful moves, he drives, looking for the perfect pass. He has possession. He has been All of our uh, eyes ring, but unable to find a player to get his pass to, and he sends the ball out of the eyes ring. He's out of play. There's an argument about positioning. He was unable to find the pass to. He did not like it. He won pitch key. And Diane Vaini has the equalizer. What's he saying? The positioning arguments about uh, Chester Lee was having about has just been revealed. And uh, Legion of Vainy has taken advantage of that and they have gotten their equalizer just how they wanted it. The earlier the better. It's 1-1. One, one. We're back on level times. Katsi of um, Dmitry Gabulovic. And Vadim Rybakov gave the assist. Once again, this combination, seven and eight. This is not the first time we are seeing these two combined to get a goal. Not the first time in this tournament and not the first time today. The player is down. Seems to be in pain, but we can continue. And that is the second goal for Chest Trolley. It didn't take long, and they took the lead back. This time, Maxim Antonov, who gave the assist, has his goal, and Ivan Ketchkin gets an assist to his name. They are back in front. Two goals to Chester Lee, one goal to Le Jamie Vani. Le Jamie Vani players must be furious. Furious? Not in a bad way of course, Sportman likely. They fought to get back on level terms and just shortly after that, they lost the lead again. 
I'm not surprised. I will see four more goals in this game. I will not be surprised. Because both teams have scored five goals in the two previous games. In the previous games. And uh, now they have a clash. A clash of the Titans. Is anybody in Good shot. Well blocked. Andre Gushenko. Shot by Ivan Pitin, who had a hat trick in the five goal win against. Uh, in the 5 2 win against Morales. Chesterly loses the puck. The Genevine on the move. Just to get a good shot. Five minutes and 40 seconds played. Nice shot by Baron Chukov. From a distance, but uh, was a few inches high. It's less than four minutes to play. Just really have the lead. Alexander Schwed. He had an assist. He scored in the previous game. Previous game, you had every system. This one is scored. The enemy need very close one. That should have been a goal. But uh, the puck is on the side net and not inside the net. So the score line is not changed. And we have 3 minutes and 10 seconds left. Chester in possession. Number four player, Pavel Kutiako. And Ivan Keshkin come to his rescue to drive the puck into attacking positions. Ivan Keshkin, Vadim Rivakov. You have it. Good shot, but no goal. Good pass forward. Vadim Rivakov passes to Ivan Petin. Good shot, but blocked by Andrei Gushenko of Chestroli. Uh, hey, Gianni Vaini on the move. Good counter. Will he get a goal? He does not get the goal. Another one sent forward, blocked again. Andre Gushenko has been wonderful in this goal. Preventing an equalizer. Danny Vaini are really pushing for this equalizer. They are pushing so hard. They are bringing it to the trolleys. But in Rivako sends it to Gavrilovic. Gives a shot side netting. He's back again. Kovaranchuko and Andrei Gushenko once again claims the puck. He's on fire. Kutiako, power. Ivan Keshkin. A nice pass, good shot. To the pads of a chance of give. And the Giannivani moves. One inch away from getting a good hit that could have been a goal. But he missed it. It's 24 seconds, 21 seconds now. For 
this final, this second third to be over. And uh, Chester well, is just the lead. They didn't find it. They missed the counter. And they're still pushing. They're still pushing. They didn't give a call. It's three minutes, three seconds, sorry. And first, second third is over. They failed to come back to equal terms. And uh, Chester finishes with the lead. See you in the third and final third. And we are ready to resume the game, ready to start the final third. Face off, and we have risen. It's, uh, it's in favor of Chester Lee, not just because they have the possession now, but because they are in front. Leading by two goes to one, and this is the final third, final 10 minutes of this game. Can Lidiani Vaini once again get back on equal terms? Can Chestrali hold the lead and maybe extend it? It will all be decided in 9 minutes and 22 seconds left to play. Chestrali on the move. Nice pass, good shot, great block. Adjum Sergei. What a shot by Ivan Ketchkin. And good pass, but uh, third communication, third positioning. They have lost possession and they just gained it back. That would have been a nice shot from uh, Alexander Schmidt, but he was blocked by Ivan Petit. Kutyakov goes almost denied of the possession, but he reclaimed it immediately and uh, he sends a long pass up for and that was a very good one, very close, but uh, it was skimmed past the goalpost. That would have been an extension of the lead by uh, Shestrule. Australia in possession of the ball. Long pass up front from Pavel Kutyakov to Maxim Antonov. Alexander Schwer. He's alone. No support. Nobody to pass to. He has to fight. And uh, has been claimed by Adjom Sergei. Uh, Danny Vaini has it. 7 minutes 35 seconds to play. And they pull this back. Now there have been an extension by the Alexander Shade. His shot was not very good enough to his love. Not very good enough. To send the puck into the back of the net. Seven minutes left to play. Ivan Kitschke. Pavel Kutiakov. Ivan Kitschke. Maxim Antonov. He missed his pass. He 
Very first time we're done the game, Maxim. Ah, Bonkeskin was closed. Just one little hit away from extending the lead, but he failed to get it. And now they have position back. It's Maxim Antonov fighting with Gregory Baranchukov. And other team members have come to join in the hustle for the puck. The puck has been saved and cleared out of pressure and it's in the hands of the Jennifer and this is Baron Chukov. Um, Dimitri Gavrilov. Now Baron Chukov. Very sometimes it's hard to see the numbers of the players from certain positions. Maxim Antonov. Just really has it. Uh, the close one. The goal post move but, uh, does not disrupt the game, not yet. So the game was not stopped. Legendary Bani now the post has moved significantly and the goal post the game has to be stopped. Legendary Vani players are not happy with that decision because they were close to getting a goal but their rule stands their rule stands uh, the goal the game has to be stopped the goal supposed to be fixed back into place and then we'll have a face off and resume the game so far five minutes 30 seconds left to play two goals to Shestrali one goal to Legendary Vani for that equalizer they want to get back in the game they have less than five minutes to do that they're certainly not happy with the result now it's not a shameful result and not to a victim but uh, to be a lot better if they can come back and push the game into uh, a decider shootout if not even win it the time is not much, time isn't enough. And that is possible, but uh, it's not an easy task to do, especially not against a team like Chest Trolley. The puck is claimed by uh, Andrei Gushenkov, Gushenko, but still, it's a foul. Um, so is, uh, time out, time, uh, time out, rather not a foul, and the time out is over already. And the players are back in, getting the position for a face off to play the last four minutes of this game. Four minutes to decide. Four minutes for uh, 
ancestrally to hold on to the arena or maybe extend it or for me it's uh, the journey by me to get back into the game. That was a very close one, it hits the crossbar and uh, goes out of play. So the game has been stopped, face off and we'll continue. Chesterly has the puck. Maxim Antonio. Pavel Kutiakov. Ivan Kechki. Rinbogi Baranchukov on the market. Keske moves. He wins the hide and seek. And Jenny Bani claims the puck and they are on the attack. Ivan Petin shoots. But Andre Gushenko says no. Another shot but missed. Failed to connect. Baran Chuko. He's in pain. Can he continue? He's in pain. I think he can. Serious pain. But he's still on. And Gianni Vaini, Baron Chuko, good shot. doesn't get it into the back of the net. It's a face-off. Face-off against uh, Chestrolet. And then if any has possession, they are pushing on for that goal. In the remaining two minutes of this third end game, but uh, Chestrolet is not letting that happen. And especially Andre Gorshenko. This time another face off, but uh, in the half of the uh, Legend of any players. Young man. Jenny trying to make the best use of the 1 minute and 14 seconds left. Good shot, repelled. Alexander Schwer goes head to head with uh, Tim Sergei, but Tim Sergei pushes the puck out. That would have been a very dangerous one with a little touch, but uh, the touch did not happen, so it went into the possession of Andrei Gushenko, and now we have a time out. I'm out for Chesterly. Probably trying to strategize on how to hold on to the uh, lead, if not extend it. The amount is up, it's over. There's a head getting back to position for a face-off. We have 58 seconds left to play in this game. And uh, can the Legend of any players do something with it? Chester Lee has the puck. Sends his forward. 50 seconds left. Puck is super fast. It's a serious clash. Density is hot. Even in the last one minute, 35 seconds left. Johnny by name. Vladimir Rybakov pushes it, pushes it, and it's not 
working. It's not working out for them. The goaltender claims it. The goaltender claims the puck in the remaining 18 minutes. That was the closest that Legend Vaini had come so far in getting the equalizer. But still, no goal. Fifteen seconds, just really pushing the puck forward. Nothing taken back home. They want it on the side of the Jennifer and Nate. That is a second place for it for them. And it's not gonna work for the Jennifer and Nate because the game is over. Two goals to Chester Lee, one goal to the Geneva and Nate is a huge, huge win for them against a big team. See you in the next game. Bye.
All right, this is our fifth game of the day. Uh, it's uh, the International Short Hockey Federation, top league. This moment we have the game between uh, Armiet and Coralit. Armiet are playing in the uh, Stars Jesses from right to left and uh, Coralit are playing in the light blue and black Jesses from left to right. And uh, the lineup for me to have uh, number one, the goaltender, Grigory Morashev, number eight, Martin Rapin, number five, Ilya Karlin, number three, Alexander Sajinkov, number ten, Akhtar Shulev, number four, Seni Lashinov, and lastly, number seven, Gleb Miroshnikov. And for me side, for the uh, Raleigh side, we have. Uh, the goaltender Vasily Lapchenkov, number 13, Artem Shelley, number 8, Ivan Dorogin, number 6, Filip Filipov, number 10, Nikolai Mavchenkov, number 7, Andrei Borisuk, and number 9, Evgeny Kosti. Uh, well, let's lose the previous game. To Jenny Vainé, they lost five goals to two. Ah, that is a cool goal by Gleb uh, Miroshikov. By a Tom Shule of number 10 and was assisted by number seven Gleb Miroshikov. And Armiet take the first lead in this game. Uh, once again, Borelets are behind. In again, this is their second game today. Sorry, the previous game, they scored first. They were in front for the first time, and then they lost their lead and lost again. And this time. They are studying from behind. Good shot by uh, number six player Philip Filipov, but uh, went into the hands of uh, Grigory Morashev. So no goal for Raleigh at the moment. And yet. Try to make an attacking move, but uh, they are stopped. Rallet, Rallet are really trying to get the equalizer as soon as possible. <coughs> you know, in the game of sports, the uh, earlier the better. Uh, the reply always comes. It's always better when it comes earlier. So they are really trying to get the reply as a. Uh, uh, yes, they can, but uh, I mean, it's, they're, they're not a team to just easily let a lead slide. Yeah, it's one Moskowski echelon today. Five goals to two. And uh, the Alex lost as well. Five goes to one. In the Anivine. The only goal came from number 10 player Nikolai Mountinko. What? Five minutes and 40 seconds left in the clock. Let's see yet to get the equalizer goal and uh, Ramiet, of course, are trying to extend their lead because as you 
you agree with me, one goal lead is uh, not cushion enough to have this, the sudden confidence that you are leading. There's just one goal and everything is back on equal terms. So, there was a cushion to get as many goals as possible. And that was a very close chance to get that goal, but they were denied by um, Grigori Murashev. No goal for Alex at the moment. Alex on the move again. Miscommunication. And yet, takes it. But, uh, Riley's goal tender, Vasily Lapchenko claims the puck. Well, uh, Mietz, Len Rashiko, Ilya Karli, he has had two goals, I think, on, uh, today. Only today, two goals already in their previous game. Let on the move. Let me rush people. He loses possession. Morales has it. But they are not given the free chance to get the pass so they can try for the goal. A direct shot on goal would be a penalty, a foul, and a warning, which, if repeated a couple of or several times, will lead to a penalty shoot. seem to be having a good time moving the puck. Now the close one, Lem Yeroshnikov almost had it, but uh, the puck flew faster than uh, he could set his stick and get in contact with it. Well, let's reclaim possession and uh, trying to get that lead, uh, that equalizer in the remaining two and a half minutes left to play in this uh, first third of their game. Meets with the puck. Atem Shule, the goal scorer. He loses it to Gleb Mureshnikov, the assistant. He gives it number five, Ilya Karelin, who had two goals in the previous game. Nice dribble. Passes, another pass, need to get a shot, but not good enough. Rallets, reclaimed, and meet. Rallets again. Kenny, Costume tried to get a pass up from, but he fails to do just that. They missed their very good counter attacking chance. Now they have to play it from afresh. Again, you question. Nice shot. And yet in possession. Reclaimed by Rallet. Nice chance to get a goal, but was blocked and the puck went too high. Still Rallet. Still Rallet. Roaming around. The goal of uh, Amit. Good shot from uh, Evgeny. From Evgeny Kostin. It was blocked and the puck went out, out of play and then 
the game was stopped. In 30 seconds, the first third is over. We have a face up and we'll see what can happen in about 20 seconds. Let me rush, Nico. That would have been a nice over under the leg pass. But, uh, failed to do just that. <coughs> this cost stands at 1 0 to Almiet. And in the first turn, it's over. 1 0. Almiet leading. Next is second third. Second third, second period, if you choose to call it, is underway. And uh, it's an advantage to Almiet, as they are one goal up. Can't see a goal in the first half by, uh, in the first third, sorry, by Tiong uh, Shulov, number 10 player, who was assisted handsomely by number 7. Uh, Miet playing from left to right and uh, Morales playing from right to left. A switch after the first break. Good game, good workout. Good moves, nice pass, wonderful finish by Almiet to double the lead. Double the lead. And uh, Alexander Sajinkov gets the second goal. And he was assisted by Ilya Karim, who scored in the previous game two goals. And now he has one assist. He's doing wonderful today. Wonderful. Very fast player. One of the fastest. And wonderful, wonderful goal. A third goal, a third goal, a double lead, a third goal by Amit. It's three goals to Amit right now. And no goal to Morales. It's a goal for. Number eight, Maxim Repin, and he was assisted by Alexander Sajinko, who already has a goal to his name. It's three goals. A little timeout. A little timeout. And we'll resume. And meets are on fire. Three goals. Alexander Sajinko 
à Tom Shulov et Maxime Ripi. Second third already. 8 minutes 28 seconds to play. Time out is over. Let's see if any tactical changes discussed during the short time out will be of any use of any effect in this remaining uh, part of the second third, especially on the side of Morales. Wow, that was so close, but the goaltender um, Grigory Moreshov did so well, wonderfully well actually, to get into position a couple times to prevent that goal, even when he had an open net, a great chance for the Royalets to uh, get the goal. What more can you ask from a goaltender? Violets in possession. Lost. Now Armiet in possession. Gleb Miroshnikov. Probably a long pass up front. Or will he do the driving by himself? Gives a pass. Not the longest of passes. But finds his teammate who now is behind the goal net again player number four Asen Lashino sends a pass up front he lost possession now in the hands of Rallet Nicolai Montinko releases it number 13 Matiam Shilin Niet has possession. Riley regains it. Good shot. No goal. The pot is out. Game is stopped. Face off will be done and we'll continue. Wonderful shot. Has been slipped, tripped. Glenn Reshnikov, he blows. It would be a foul to meet against Rallis to be played by. Played by number seven player Glenn Miroshnikov. It's a penalty to And he expects no, he fails to do so. He shot the puck wide past the goal post. And uh, they don't have an extension to their lead. But uh, three goals lead in second third, six minutes and 14 seconds left. Pretty, pretty comfortable at this moment. No pressure. Not yet. Oh, God. Can meet. interrupted unintentionally. Apologize for it. Actually, the box still came back to our next players just afterwards. Now, the game is the of Riley has the puck. Glenn Miroshnikov. Nice pass, but uh, he did not reach the intended player. And, uh, he lost it. They have it again. That was as soon as we like it by our mates. And not the coolest of ways, but uh, just cool enough to handle the pressure of, uh, from 
the Morales side. And they did well with that. The scoreline is unchanged. No goal to Morales. Very close one, but he uh, needed just one more hit in the direction of the goal by a player number 10, uh, a team shoot level for me, it's who already has a goal to his name in this game, but uh, he was not able to get that final touch. Alex has the puck. It's 4 minutes and 5 seconds left to play in the second third. The second 10 minutes of the game has been owned by the near side. Although recently the Royalists have been trying to uh, get back into the game with a little pressure, but uh, the pressure has not been so strong enough to break, to break the defensive walls of. Uh, I mean, they are yet to get a goal. Rallies with the puck. And that is a goal by the Virginia Costing. They've pulled one back. They've pulled one back. Goal to Guinea Costin, number nine, assisted by number seven, Andre Borisu. Is this a start of a comeback? We have 13 minutes to check that out. Face off and the game continues. and now just gave an assist to Philip Filippo. Is this the start of the comeback I asked? And it's 3-2 already in two minutes or less. In less than two minutes, two goals to Rallets. This is getting interesting. Yet on the verge of losing their lead. Their cushion is out. They have only one goal. Now in the lead. And that was so close to equalizing everything. But uh Gregory Morasho stopped this one. And near to the park. William Reshnikov. What is it? Is Nikolai Mies is on. You go with Mora Show. You let me rush you. He's on the run. He's dribbling. He's driving. He's going. Too fast sometimes. This time he's faster than the pocket. Let's take the puck. He had a good chance, but he was just in front of the goalie. And no goal. Yet on the run. Looking for him to pass to 
gets the pass, but Glenn Miroshnikov did not get the goal. The puck is out of play. Game stopped. Face off next. Less than 15 minutes left to play. 48, 48 to be precise. Less than 10 minutes and the second 10 minutes is over. Less than 10 seconds, sorry. And the second third is over. Two goals, two rallies, and three goals, two half minutes. The comeback seems to be happening. Next, final third. Ready for a final third of this game between um, Arniet and Morales, the International Short Hockey Federation top league, fifth game of the day. Arniet are leading three goals to two, and three goals to nothing actually. They are on the verge of losing the lead, and uh, Morales are on the verge of a comeback. It can only be one of the other. Or the other. Long pass up front by the Rushnikov. Mets charging the attack. Almost lost possession. Tripped and he's down. The referee is blown. It's a foul against Rayleigh. It's a penalty shot. A duel between. Miroshnikov uh, Miroshnikov had once before and he failed to utilize it will he do better this time we we'll see yet again he misses the score stands 3 goals, 2 minutes, 2 goals Rally. Face up down, Alex has the possession. The puck was a nice pass, just flying, breezing through, breezing through the goal line for a minute, but nobody to give it a finishing touch that it required. And Almiet gets another goal and increases the lead. But Morales are uh, asking for a review of the goal. So the referee is going to review the goal on the screen and decide if it's a goal or not. We'll wait for his final decision.
of our decision and the goal is cancelled. It's no goal. Score stands at three goals to Amiet and two goals to Morales. The referee explains why the goal was cancelled to the players. Everybody is at peace with it and now we can continue with the game. Quick one goes to the face off. And there is a penalty shot. I need player number 10. A jump shoot up. He has a goal already. He will make it two. And he has to do that also. He seems to have been able to score um, Vasily Latinko in the penalty shoots. Close one for the pilot. And he missed it and yet he's on. Nice pass. That was the closest miss so far. He did everything right until the final lob. And that was close again. But, uh, the, uh, the park passed the goal line and had to send it in as a pass, which failed to connect to this player. But, uh, However, they still have the puck in the possession. And that's Glenn Mirosh. Morales, close. He needs one pass and a shot, but he needs it. Fails to get that pass, and hence there was no shot. Mitz. Nice one, nice save. See that simple. And immediately pushes the ball to his team. Seven minutes left on the clock. Nice shot. Morales goes down the Vasily Lachinkov. Claims the puck. He's a Rallets now. Very well. Good shot. A jump shooter. Long play was still left in the back. Six minutes to go. Morales are yet to complete their comeback. We need not letting that happen. Straight. A lot of clashes. Hustles and bustles, but uh, at the end of the day, the pot. That of Grigory Morrisers. That is an awesome, awesome, awesome shot by player number five, Ilya Karlin, and he gets his goal after an assist and. Uh, Maxim Rekin gets his assist 
after a goal. And finally, they have that fourth goal they have been looking for. They have that cushion lead, they have that double lead, and uh, it's four goals to admit, and two goals to Alex in five minutes and 20 seconds left to play. That was a belter. A strong strike finding the back of the net. From India, Korea. It doesn't get so much better than that. Five minutes to play. Rally at two goals down. They have a chance. Keep one goal down, but they missed it. Game posting. Short. Also taking away the stick of uh, in, um, Glenn Morris. The game takes it back and he's on with the game. Glenn Costin really hustling. Physically and verbally, pushing his team to do things right and get this goal. There are four minutes to do that. Four minutes to get the two goals. Or maybe more if you want to win it in the regulation time. But uh, I mean, it's, it's not that thing. At least not yet. Goal tender for Raleigh is out. We have an extra man outfield in the eyes ring. Did that help? Last time he did not. Most times he doesn't. Usually, sometimes it ends up conceiving another goal and making matters even worse than it was before the goal was withdrawn. Three minutes and Seconds now. Even with the extra man, no serious attempt has been made. And now they have a goal. It's not just an attempt, it's an actual goal by number 10 player Nikolai Mamchenko. was assisted by number 9 player Danny Kostin. Now we have another 9 and 10 at work and with the close numbers. Danny Kostin, second assist of the day after his first goal. He's really pushing his team. He's pushing his team as much as he can. He has pushed with the goal, he has pushed with two assists, he has pushed verbally as well. Trying to create chances and get goals. More than push the team. But, uh, and it's kind of working, but still they're behind by a goal. A review on the screen for a possible offense by a player. We're waiting for the referee's decision.
referee has made his decision and it is a foul it's a foul very bad position of his stick it's against the next player so alright let's have a chance to equalize this game and gain a costing The chance in this penalty duel to equalize. And uh, he did very well, he tried so hard, but uh, Grigory Morashev denies him the chance. And once again, they're taking out the goalie, they're really fighting for this. Ball for this equalizer. Try to gain early possession. The puck is out of play. After a nice shot, actually, it was blocked and sent up high above the ice ring frame. So you stop and play face off. It's two minutes and five seconds. And that's why right, I did this one block by uh, a team shooter. And they have their goal. They have the very much needed goal at a very wonderful time in the game. Less than two minutes to play. They have the equalizer. But the players, their mere side, are calling for a uh, review. So the referee will go for a check in and see if it's a goal or not. The goal stands. It's a, a goal by number 13, a jump shilling, and assisted by Andre Borisuk, number 7. That's the second assist of the day. Two assists by Andre Borisuk, two assists by Gene Costa. And of course, a goal by Guinea Costin and two other goals by Nikolai Mamchenko. Mamchenko, Filip Filipov, and uh, Tim Schilling, respectively. And Morales of the lead. This is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. He came down from a 3 1 behind and now they are five four in front and another assist for Evgeny Kostin is a triple assist is a uh, hat trick assist and this just got even more interesting the timeout So, the scoreline, 5-4. Five, 5 goals to Raleigh and 4 goals to Armies. What a wonderful turnaround. There's 1 minute left on the clock. What can we see next? Armies players must be furious for losing and uh, 
a wonderful lead for losing a good lead. 3-1 lead and now they are behind 5 goals to 4. Kudos to Rallets for keeping their heads high. Kudos to Evgeny Kostin for pushing his team and uh, really doing so well even physically and morally to make sure the team uh, gets back into the game. And now they are winning the game. Now Miet are the ones trying to get an equalizer in 30 seconds left to play. This might be the first win for Corrales Day. And it will be a win in style. It's 15 seconds left to play. 10. Just 5 seconds and the game is over. What a wonderful win. What a day for Morales today. 5 goals to 4 from 3 goals to 1 behind and they have the win for this game. See you in the next game. Bye.
ladies and gentlemen, this is your girl's kicked off the next game of today. Today, this time we have the game between the Moscow Skechlon and the Gianni Vainer. Moscow Skechlon playing from left to right in red and white, and uh, Legiani Vaini playing from right to left in uh, the camouflage. In the lineup for Moscow Skechlon, we have number one, the goaltender Atyom Sergei, we have number six, Pavel Vasilev, number seven, Ramiz Ganyev, we have number three. Kari Yurov, number 5 Mikhail Sareski, number 8 Sergei Gusarov, and number 4 Gleb Marulov. And uh, for Legiani Vaini, we have number 1 Andre Gushenko, number 3 Ivan Petin, number 6 Ivan Agapov, number 10 Vladimir Harovic, number 7 Vadim Rakov, number 5 Grigory Baranchukov, and number 8. Dmitry Gavrilovic. Jenny Vaini is playing their third game of the day. They won the first one, they lost the second one to Sestroli. And uh, now they just had a very first goal in this game, and it's a wonder wonder goal in the top corner of the goalpost. Well shot by. Uh, Dimitri Gavrilovic again, uh, a goal scorer he is, and assisted by Ivan Petin. They take the lead two minutes into the first ten minutes of the game. Scott Keshlon on the move. Players down, but let's just play on. No offense, no foul. Gianni Vaini on the move. This coach is trying to get an early equalizer. Equalizer quickly in the game before it gets too late so they can get back into the game. Legendary by him, not that happen, at least not yet. Pushing hard, pressing hard, looking for the loophole. But uh, the Genevani not giving them anyone, not yet. Shot by Legion Evani, but didn't give a call. Took a very wonderful shot after an assist by Ivan Pitin, but uh, a jump are gave for the holder of the puck. It's 
Let's go slow once again. There is a rescue. Lost possession. Counter attack by Lijani Boyani and a goal. Right. Dimitri Gavrilovic once again. And this time assisted again by Ivan Petty. Two goals for Dimitri Gavilovic and two assists for Ivan Petin. It seems to be the game this time. It's always the game for Dimitri Gavilovic anyway. But uh, the combination I'm talking about, two goals, two assists, two same players. They're on fire this time. Moskowski Echelon, missed their chance. They have a lot of work to do now. Not just one goal, but two. And uh, Legiani Vani, of course, trying to increase that lead by more and more goals. They are a team and they are always never satisfied by any number of goals. Legiani Vani on the attack. And they make it three. Three goals to Legiani Vaini. This time it's Grigory Baranchuk. And assisted by Vadim Rybakov. He is always involved in the goals. Three nothing. We'll have a timeout. Maybe the Moskovsky Echelons can come up with a strategy to get back into the game. We'll see that in the next 23 minutes and 25 seconds. Time what is over and we have resumed. Off and the puck is in the hands of the Moskovsky Ashlands. This communication, they almost lost it and they just did now. They gained it back. Moskovsky Ashlands in possession. 3 minutes and 5 seconds to play. 3 goals to Legend by Nerva to Moskovsky Ashlands. Puck is flying, left and right. Players are hustling for goals and hustling to avoid goals. Hustling for the possessions. It's more special. The puck behind the goal. With the puck, but no assist. I would have been a slick one, but they missed to get it. And it's a foul again. A direct ball, a direct shot, and the ball is a foul.
face off. and no goal to Moskovsky Echelon. Next is the second third. Counted on the well, Jenny with advantage. Three goals to Jenny Vine and no goal to Moskovsky Echelon. Uh, now, Jenny Vine playing from left to right after the switch. And now, Moskovsky Echelon playing from right to left. And it's an awesomely crafted fourth goal for. Jenny Vaini goal scored by Vadim Ribakov and uh, assisted um, once again by Ivan Petin. He has a hat trick and the assist. He has a hat trick and the assist. Three assists for Ivan Petin. Number three. 
with three assists. Four goals and nine minutes and 19, 13 seconds still left to play. Barely one minute played and we already recorded the first goal in this third. That was a close chance, a very close one for Moskovsky Echelon, but uh, Ramiz Ganiev did not use it as his teammate expected when he gave the pass. So they still have no goal. And there are four goals down. Echelon lost their game against uh, Almir by five goals to two, and they also lost to Chestroli five goals to nothing. And now they are losing by four goals to nothing in the second third of the game. It's two minutes played. Players down, check him out and. Everything is fine, we'll continue the game. There was a review on the screen by the referee and he's making a decision that is a foul against a Skorsky Echelon. So it will be played and taken by Vadim Grybakov, number 7. A chance to extend the lead and crush the hopes of uh, Moskovsky Echelon but he failed to do that. However, they still have a 4 goals lead in the second third of the game and 8 minutes, 2 seconds to play. Face off and we have resumed the game. 8 minutes on the clock, nice attempt, good shot, good block. Uh, try to make a rebound shot but uh, not work out so well as planned. There was no further threat there. Very nice one again by Vadim uh, Gibakov. He's been so up and doing as usual, no surprises. He's a great player. Gives the assist, gets the goal, dribbles, drives, he's fast, he's motivational. He's just a perfect hockey player. Echelon. Nice pass, up front. But um, blocked. And the only one player tried to get the fifth goal. That was number five player, but he get the fifth goal, but uh, it went a few inches wide. Echelon on the move. Number four player. Then Maulio gives the, the puck to Makari Yurov. And it's Vediani Vainier in. Good shot, but with a side netting. Shot by Ivan Petin, who has 
I had to recover six today. Four, three of them, four goals today. That is just wonderful. created one and scored one and Niko Gavilovic scored two we go going and took off scored one four goals to the end of the it's five minutes and thirty five seconds left in this second third can we have a magic turnaround like in our previous game where Rallet and wonderfully, wonderfully, wonderfully uh, created a chance, but uh, it was not executed to expectation. <coughs> so we'll have uh, a face off, no goal, of course. Five minutes left, and we resume. The yeah, never any side are doing so great when it comes to moving the puck, dribbling, setting up chances and opportunities, getting into dangerous positions, wonderfully created chances, uh, but uh, they failed to use the last one. However, they have been doing well with them, and the score on uh, sheet can testify to that. It's four goals to them. Kowski Echelon yet to find the back of the net. Now is Zarezki. And the pop supported by number 3. Makari Yorf. Kowski Echelon. That was a close chance for the number six player to get a goal for Vasilia, but uh, failed to get it. The ref has blown, he has a trip. But in Liverpool, number seven is down, there will be a foul. Penalty dual shot, and it will be taken by Vadim Ribako. A chance to extend the lead to 5 0. Can he do that? And yes, he does! And yes, he does. In Krems style. He sends the keeper to the canteen and gets the food to eat. That is 5 0. And his a second goal for Vadim Rybakov. He has one assist and now two goals. It's a trashing for. It's a trashing to Moskovsky Oshlo. This will be the second loss of the day. Huge loss. 5 0 before and now 5 0 again. And we still have 3 minutes and 33 seconds to play here and another full 10 minutes in the final third. I wonder what the final scoreline will look like. Next up, continuing the game. The Geneva in house possession. And there's a serious contest for the puck. The puck is out, is out of exile and in the hands of most of the excellent players. Geneva in up. Running. Fast. One side to the other, left to right of the ice ring. They have control of this game. I'm sure they feel like they have this game in their hands now. Even though there is over 10 minutes left to play. I feel 5-0 lead. It's uh, pretty much impossible to come back from, especially against a side like Arigian Vainé. 
Yes, we had a surprise in the previous game where uh, the relics were losing one goal to three and then they ended up winning five goals to four against the um, Armenians. But um, this is the genuine we are talking about here and uh, one of the best teams, if not the best team in this tournament. Best players, they have wonderful defense, they have good finishers, so it's unlikely that they will give up a 5 0 lead with 10 minutes, uh, a, few, a little over 10 minutes left to play. Especially aside, against a side uh, like uh, Oskowski. lost their game, their previous game today by two goals to one to Chesterly who won Armenians five goals to nothing, who won uh, Moscow Echelon five goals to nothing in the very first game of today and uh, the Genovani won the first game today Five goes to two against five goes to one rather against um, Oralet. So it was a clash of the titans between Chesterly and uh, Legion Vaini. And Chesterly came out on top. That game could have gone either way. I'll tell you how tight it was. It was a one goal difference. One goal difference between both teams at the end of the day. 10 seconds left in this second third and uh, we will be heading over to the final third of the game and the second third is over 5 goals Legion Vaini and nothing yet to Moskovsky Echelon next is the final third And we are back in the game. International Short Hockey Federation, Top League. It's uh, the final third of the game between uh, Moscow's Keshlan and Legeni Vaini. And Legeni Vaini leading by five goals to nothing. Moscow's Keshlan just got a goal, but uh, it has to be reviewed on the screen by the referee to see if it counts or not. So we are waiting for the review and the final decision of the referee.
And it's a goal. The goal stands. It's one goal to Moscow Station. Five goals to one. Very early into the second, into the final third, Moscow Station gets their first goal. down on the deficit by one ball but uh, there's still a lot of work to do a huge huge mountain to climb a mountain of four goals uh, well let's be able to climb three and add one to get the win against uh our meet, but uh, this is against the Gianni Vianney and this is four goals Not completely impossible, but uh, you can say it's very difficult and, and almost impossible. That was a very close chance. Needed just one more hit by the stick. But they failed to get it. And now the Geneva near on the attack. The nice shot by Godin uh, Draco, but they failed to get it on board. You enjoyed that one? That was a good dribble. You enjoyed it. Gabrilovic is having fun here. They missed the pass, miscommunication. Nice block by Ivan Petin. That could have been another uh, cut down of deficit for uh, Moskovsky Echelon. Ivan Petin made sure the puck did not cross for the uh, intended player on the Moscow Special on side. Daniel. Nice shot, close, just between the pads of the boat and the and uh, the goal post. Then you find him, only to extend the lead even more. But he will back off. Keep testing. Uh, Tim shall give. But uh, Tim shall give, not letting it happen. That is Gavrilovic. Gavrilovic making some nice cool moves. Six minutes, 20 seconds left. Four goals. Ahead of Moskovsky Echelon, and they made it five. It is six goals to one. They made it five. That is six goals to one. And Vadim Rybakov gets his hat trick. And this time, Dmitry Gavrilovic gives an assist. Once again, we're having the combination of this wonderful duo, Vadim Rybakov 7 and Dmitry Gavrilovic 8. The galore of goals and assists for this duo. There will be a review and uh, we'll get the final confirmation of the goal if it's a yes or a no.
have a review and there is no goal. Goal does not start. It's been explained. It's been explained to the players why it doesn't count. Explanation done. Players are in agreement and uh, the score stands five goals to one. Six minutes twelve seconds to play. But they don't give a call. Gives the puck away. Lack of communication. They are pretty comfortable with the lead. Moskowski uh, is definitely not in a comfortable place right now. Not after the previous loss, and definitely not after the big margin that they are yet to climb with the short time left to play. Five minutes and five seconds left to play. Four goes down. Five one to lead the environment. Miss Daniel, Miss Koskeslo, Makari, sorry, guys, there is now the native devil of the shazer. Who sends it forward? A long pass that should have found around to go, but uh, missed it. We can do by name. And nice one, but uh, if you to get the goal, the moves, the working, does awesome. That would have been a good goal, an extension of the lead for the Geneva Ine, but uh, they missed something there. And, uh, they missed their chance of getting the goal. And now Skolski Echelon just also missed the chance of getting the second goal. And uh, the score remains 5-1. It's a shot on goal without a pass, so it counts against the Moskovsky Echelon players. Now we have a face off in the half of the Moskovsky Echelon. And we continue, continue the game. Nice shot, nice, nice shot by Mekari Yurov. And uh, it's the second goal for Moskovsky Echelon. The score is 5-2 with three minutes left to play and three, three goals. Uh, deficit, can they make it happen? Nice catch by Atom Sergei. Vainin has not gotten a goal in a while in this game. Two goals consecutive by Moskovsky Echelon. But still a long, long way to go in two and a half minutes only left to play. 
Los Kirchner. Vanyan the move, it's a counter. He missed to get that final shot. And then it's no go. Less than two minutes to play. And still three goals for Moskovsky Echelon. It's pretty much unlikely that they will make anything out of this game at this moment. Anybody on the attack? One and a half minutes left. They might not have gotten any goals lately, but uh, they're pretty confident. They have this game in their hands now. They're pretty relaxed, no pressure. Just letting the clock tick and count down. Density is down, no much fighting in the wall, no much hustle. Just a matter of time now and the game is over. Less than a minute. That was a good shot and goal by Dimitri Gavrilovic after a pass from Baranchuko. Uh, no and definitely, definitely, definitely. Nothing Moskovsky Echelon can do at this moment to pull back a three-goal deficit in less than half a minute left to play. Good pass, close to the goal, but no goal. 20 minutes, 17 already, 15. And uh, it's 10 seconds left and this game will be over. And um, Skopsky Echelon loses again. Five goes to two. Legione Vaini. The game is over. Next game in a few minutes. See you.
Hello, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Seventh game of today. It's a game between um, Armit and uh, Shestroli. Armit playing in the Stars jerseys of uh, red and blue from the left side to the right side, while uh, Shestroli they are playing from the right side to the left side in the white and green. Uh, in the lineup on the mid side we have um, the goaltender Vasily Lapchenko number one, number eight, number eight Maxim Repin number five, Ilya Kagli number three, Alexander Sejinkov number ten, Artyom Shulev number four, Asin. Vashinov and number seven, Gilead Miroshnikov. And on the side of the chest relief, we have a number one, the goaltender, Gregory Murashov. Number six, Albini Vladnov. Number seven, Alexander Shvit. Number seven, number nine, Alexander Shvit. Number seven, Vladimir Kalugin. Number five, Maxim Antonov. Number eight, Ivan Kitchkin. And number four, uh, number eight, Ivan Kitchkin. And number four, Pavel Kutyakov. usual is 10 minutes in this first third this first 10 minutes we have three thirds each 10 minutes that was a nice shot but uh, it was saved by the shot by number eight Maxim Repin uh, so far today Shestroli have uh, won their matches they won even against the big side, uh, the Genovaini. That was a huge, huge win for them. Despite the small goal margin, it was a huge win against a strong side who actually scored five goals today in their first game. Just like Chester and also scored five goals in their first game. And it became um, a clash of the titles when both teams met. But uh, Chester Lee managed to steal the win with a one goal lead uh, to go to one. But at this moment, it's uh, goalless and we are counting, we are clocking the three minutes into the game and we are yet to see the first goal in this game. One catch king, Alexander Schmidt. I've been the two players to watch so far in uh, Shestroli's side. Nice attack, but uh, they failed to convert into a goal. In the Shestroli side, but of course, we cannot leave out Maxim Antonov, we cannot leave out uh, Pavel Kutiato and uh, the goal tender. And at the end, of course, Leb Miroshnikov. One player to watch. And then, of course, um, Ilya Karelin, who had two goals in the very first game. We had the one. And also, at Tion Shulev, number 10 player, that had a couple of goals today as well. Six minutes exactly on the clock, and uh, no goal yet. Stopped. The referee needs to make a review on the screen. I don't know why, but we'll get the information after the review after the completion. So we'll see. So we're waiting for the final completion after the review. Let's go, 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 let's go
Review is over and the decision is there is no goal. There is no goal. I think there was an attempt on a goal. Uh, rather, uh, of course, there was. Uh, I think uh, there was a, a, a disparity between two ideas of goal and no goal. Good goal and not good goal. So the referee had to get a review, and uh, at the end of the review, and with, with the officials, in the backstage, and everything, they came to the conclusion that nope, nothing. So we have resumed the game. We have five minutes and a couple seconds left to play in this first third, and we are yet to see the goal. Either side. Good attempt by Glenn Rushnikov. But uh, he was prevented by uh, Grigory Murashov of Shestrelli, the goaltender. Very nice, but uh, it's found the player. Van Tuskin, who now has a uh, switch, and back to Van Tuskin, and now Pavel Kutyakov. And this has possession. Oh, 
this one. Feel what it gets. Just by the edge of the goalpost. And uh, just hit the edge and run sideways. A few more inches. Uh, to the center, that would have been a goal. Because there was enough space for at least three uh, blocks to go through. Nice shot by Ron Ketchkin, good save by the Sini, Lapsion and uh, Alexander Swede was unable to get the rebound shot on it. Maxim Antonov, nice shot and great goal. A good pass by uh, Ivan Ketchkin and a wonderful goal by uh, Maxim Antonov. It's 1-0, Chesterly takes the lead. Chesterly takes the lead. And once again, Ivan Kachkin uh, is involved in a goal. No surprises here at all. One of the best players of this team and in this tournament in general. He dribbles, he runs, he's fast, he's a uh, goal scorer. He gets into wonderful positions for assists and shooting. He's just a perfect hockey player. As a player, any uh, team you want in the team. And of course, I have to take away credit from the goal scorer, Maxim Antonov. He's been wonderful. Behind his goal, he gets a long pass up front to Ivan Ketchkin, who is trying to strategize something. He wants to get a pass with a one time shot to his team player. He's trying to create a goal, which is something he's good at doing. Chance, but uh, a few inches to the side of the net prevented the goal from counting. And the first third is over.
second third is on the way and uh, Shastrini resumes it with an advantage on the side, a long good advantage against Almiet and uh, we see if Almiet can get back into this game uh, or oh, Shastrini team can uh, extend their lead and uh, punish Almiet as they did to uh, Moskovsky Echelon in one of their previous games. Pavel Kutiakov. Last possession. Let Miroshnikov driving for his team. Almiet trying to get the equalizer. Uh, but it doesn't happen yet. And it's Matriman Tonov looking for a perfect option to drop his pass. So they can get uh, an increase in their lead. But uh, he lost his, his position of the puck and is led Mirashnikov who advances for his team. Quick substitution. I admit, I really tried so hard to get that equalizer as soon as possible. That was a very good chance for them to get it. And for some reason, it did not work out so well. Seni Lashinov loses the pass to Ilya Karlin who drives around and around and loses it and is in the hands of Maxim Antonov of Chestrolium. He has support. Pavel Kutyanov. Lashinov, Lashinkov uh, claims the top after a close attacking session by the Shastrali players. Still admit with the puck. Good setting, good shot by Aseni Lashinov, but it goes into the body of uh, Igor Yomorashov, Shastrali. Five minutes, 25 seconds on the clock. One goal to Chester earlier. Nothing yet to Armin. Ivan Kitschkin from behind his goal. Making fakes and fence. And of course as well, killing time. Deliberately or not. He advances. Already at the other end, defensive zone. 
Why were you jerk off? Now in the same position as uh, even Keshkin previously. Why were you jerk off on the move? He's been seriously attacked by uh, Seni Lashinov and sent back to where uh, he began. Still a Seni Lashinov. Long pass up front, blocked by uh, Ilya Kaglin, and he sends the puck out of play. The game has been stopped, and there will be a face off. And in the half of uh, our meet, as you can see, by the next player, Ilya Kaglin, number five. Gleb Mirashi. Lost awareness of personal operation of the puck and he gained it and dropped a good pass for Ilya Karlin and they have an equalizer. And they have an equalizer. It's Ilya Karlin. And of course Gleb Miroshnikov once again involved in a goal. He has an assist and Ilya Karlin has a goal. It's 1-1. One, one. We are back on level terms in 3 minutes and 46 seconds left in the second third to play. Australia loses their lead, but uh, they are not behind either. They are on level terms now, trying to see how to gain back that lead. And it's uh, Pavel Kutyakov and Ivan Kechkin forming a strategy on how to get the pot into the attacking zone from behind the net. Keshkin comes to your rescue. That was a very close one. A good pass from Roshnikov. A nice pass to Ilya Karlin. But uh, um, Grigory Morashov comes to the rescue. And uh, the scoreline remains 1-1. There, Pavel Kutyakov seemed to be sleeping there. He thought his uh, other player, um, Maxim Antonov, went away with the puck. And for it to be staying away from him. I'm sure he's awake right now. Now they are going to look for again back the possession of the puck. There was some funny moment there, but it happened. Serious hustling and bustling. Either team wants to get a, a lead before going to the final third. In the one minute and twenty seconds left to play, and Amir comes close to getting that, but uh, they failed to get the finishing touch. Now it's just really on the move. Pavel Kutiako. With one minute left to play. Nice shot by Ivan Kechke. Sends it back. Not a good shot by Maxim Antonov, but uh, not good enough. And uh, Vasily Lachinko claims it. The point. Nets on the attack. That was another very close one. Grigory Morashov doesn't have a problem of throwing himself 
on the ice ring floor if it's, if it's to save his team and he has done that times and times again and uh, they have not gone behind I wonder they went front once but they are still on level jumps and yet and no time for anything game is over uh, second third is done it's 1-1 one, one to both teams next is the final third It's the final third of this seventh game of the day between uh, Almiet and uh, Chester-Lille in the International Short Hockey Federation Top League. Uh, if you're just joining us, that is it. And we have one goal to each team. The score stands at 1-1. chester -Lee had the first goal and then yet equalized first goal was scored uh, by Maxim Andonov who was assisted by Ivan Kishkin and then the equalizer by a Miet player uh, Ilya Karlin assisted by Milen Miroshnikov himself now in the nine minutes left we will decide who gets to win this game in the regulation time and if that is not done then we have to go into a post-match uh, shootout because at the end of the day one team has to win this game Looks like he's resting, looks like he's killing time, looks like he's thinking, looks like he's doing all things. And he's on the move. Drops the pass to Maxim Antonov, Maxim gives Van Keskin who tries a shot but is blocked by Vasily Lachenko, but still, Shestrali uh, really has possession. Ivan Keshkin dribbling. He moves, tries to drop the pass, but uh, he was interrupted. He just had it and then he lost it almost immediately. It's Pavel Kutiako. Shestrali. Once again behind his goal. Seconds left. One run. Chester Lee has moved for the attack. But they were denied. 
I mean, it's almost had a clear goal with a quick counter, but also tonight. defensive side. They came out of it and they're once again in the attacking side of it. It's uh, Ilya Kailin driving and moving, looking for him to pass through. He has not found yet. He does, but not enough space to get a shot. Not a good positioning for it. And it's a uh, great yeah, mirage. Ilya Kailin dispossessed. Teammate Arsene Lashiro comes to his rescue and admits he has a problem. Pass up front. The goalie is down, but no offense. His rifle says play on. Five minutes in this final third. Both teams on equal terms. Looking for that winner goal. Looking for that lead. Good shot by Pavel Kutiakov. Saved by Vasily Lachinko. Still no leader so far in this game. Amit was saved. Just three. It's three against three. Pavel Kutsakov. Once again behind his goal. And Le Mirosnikov. Waiting patiently. Both teams are under similar pressure. One, one, one goal each. And uh, less than four minutes to get a decider goal in the regulation time, or you have to go for decider shots. Let's initiate. Sends back up. Sends a back pass, but uh, he did not find Maximum Tonov. I was very close, 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 close. The play by Glenn Yeroshnikov, number seven of our mates, just inches denied, centimeters even denied. Glenn Yeroshnikov again. Really trying to get the winner for his team. He's a wonderful, wonderful, cool as you like it player with a lot of speed and finesse. But uh, that has not been able to get the goal in this game for his team. Seems to be having more of the pressure, or seems to be putting more of the pressure in this last couple of minutes. And uh, Chester will be doing more of the defensive work. Two minutes on the clock. Two minutes to play. 
two minutes to decide everything. Uh, and uh, it's a foul. Uh, so time out for a near side. Maybe trying to form a strategy on what to do in the last um, barely two minutes of this game. We'll see if the plan works. One goal can change the whole dy dynamics of this game in the remaining short time. And one team will take the lead and the win. If nothing does in the 1 and 53 seconds left, 1 minute 52 seconds left, and we have a post game shootout to decide the winner. There are no draws in this competition. Face off, and we are continuing the game. 1 minute 48 seconds left. And uh, it's a foul. Or rather, it's another timeout, sorry. This time, uh, Chester Lee. Every team is now tensed at this moment. Risky time to get a goal, to conceive a goal. One goal and uh, the chances are slim to come back. Time out will be over soon and we will resume with a face-off. And time is up to be a face-off. Expected, but uh, the goalie, the goalie Morishov, was in the right position, in the right place at the right time, and uh, the puck found his path. Long pass up front, Chester Lee, Maxim Antonov. Tonight, he's possessed of the puck. They have to follow it up. So one once again. Elegant player. Minutes has one minute as well as uh Chester Lee. They both have one minute, or less than one minute actually, to steal this win late in this game. 44 seconds. 40 seconds now to steal this win. To steal this win. What team can do? It? Are we going to get a heartbreaker, a shocker in this game? It's half a minute. 30 seconds. Zarmiet. 20 seconds. Let me rush it. I'm made to the puck in the attacking zone. 10 seconds to lose possession. He knows he's done. No need to worry. It's three. It's two. It's one. And the game is over. It's a draw between both teams. That means we'll have a post-match shootout to decide the winner in this game. Decide a draw, who plays first. Both captains, they have to choose. It's been decided. Chesterly gets the first shot. The first shot at taking the win in this game. It's Maxim Antonov. He has a goal. The only goal for his team today. He scored it. 
and uh, he failed to get a goal for his team. Next up is number five again, but this time from the other team, who also had the goal, Ilya Karlin. through the legs of Grigory Murashov and found the back of the net. It's Ilya Kechki. What can he do? He fails to get a goal. He fails to even get the shot. Similar result with Simantono, this time it's number four player Pavel uh, Aseni Lashinov and he gets the net and also it's two goals to admit two consecutive goals and two consecutive misses for Sestrali can they come back from this it's the same result again and the game is over I mean, it takes the week. 1 1 on regulation time and 2 0 in post game shootout. Next game, up next.
okay this is the number eight game of today's game series and this time we have uh Skowski echelon versus Bralet. Skowski echelon playing from right to left in white and red and uh Bralet playing from left to right in light blue and a touch of black and white in the lineup Skowski echelon uh, Andre Gushenko number one is the uh, Good. And, and then we have number six Pavel Vasilev, number seven Ramis Ganiev, number nine Makar Yuro, number five Mikhail Zareski, number eight Sergei Gusarov, and number four Gleb Morolev. And the uh, uh, game has been stopped. We will have a face off and we continue. And the violation of the rule. I think that was a shot, that was a pass, direct on goal. So that counts as a foul. And then continuing the lineup for Riley to have the goaltender number one, Atiyom Sergeyev. We have Atiyom Shilin, number 13, number, number 8, Ivan Darajin, number 6, Filip Filipov, number 10, Nikolai Mamchenko, number 7, Andrei Borisuk, and number 9, Evgeny Kostin. Nice goal by Moskovsky Echelon. Unicostin lost the puck and then uh, there was a swift counter by Moskovsky Echelon. And uh, Makari Yurov got the first goal of this game for his team. And he was assisted by Ganiev Ramiz. Who is Ganiev? It's pretty early in the game. A lot can be done. Rallet can uh, once again come back from behind to take the lead and maybe win. We've done it before. In a much bigger deficit. 3 1. 5-4 one zero is pretty much nothing especially when you're still in the early stages of the game and you're still in the first third even so if they can keep their head high and get their motivation up uh, they can do this but also if Moskowski Echelon decides to be up and doing and play a high game High standard game and not let anything slip off their fingers, uh, they might be able to keep up with the lead, maybe even extend the lead and get the win in this game. Seven minutes left to play on the clock. One goal to Moscow Station. Let's see it. Very Europe assisted by Ramis Ganyev and so far no goal to Oralet. Number four, Leb Morul. Release the pass to Hamis Ganyev. Once again, Leb Morul. Had a good chance. Hamis Ganyev could have gotten the lead, but uh, it didn't work out as planned. Ball post moved from his position. Game is stopped. After fixing of the ball post in place. Uh, 
the golf course has to be fixed in place and to uh, make it as uh, reliable as possible and then we will come back and continue the game. It's 5 minutes, 9 seconds on the clock. One goal to Moscow Station on and no goal to Rallys. Okay, we're back in the game. Five minutes exactly on the clock. Five gone, five left to play. Sports Kiyashi. I jumped. I rallied. Guinea Costume. Good shot, good goal. It's 1 1 back on level terms. Assisted by number 13, Atiom Shilin. It's 1 1. Well, let's come from behind to equalize. See who takes the lead next. Good shot. Number nine. Akari Europe. He got the goal already. He's looking for another one. Rallets. First possession. Getting it back. Nice pass. Almost a goal. And the goalkeeper, goaltender, could not see the goal, the puck, until it was pushed into his net. But there will be a review to see uh, what really happened and uh, if it decided to be a goal or not. So he is going for the review. Decision is made, the goal stands. It's two goals to Uralex. I think the goal was scored by um,
Uh, yeah. And it's an equalizer for Moskowski Echelon. It's 2 2. It's an equalizer. This time, uh, Miss Ganyev gets a goal. And it was assisted by Mikhail Zarevsky. Two goals for each team, two minutes and 50 seconds. You have to play still in the first third. It's four goals. It's a goal galore. Ramiz Ganyev. Let's see the puck. Nice shot. Well defended by the goalie of uh, <coughs> Moskowski Echelon and Ray Gushenko. Well, it has the puck. Has the poor pass and could not be used. On the offensive, on the offensive side. The intensity of this game just skyrocketed in the last two, three minutes. This is the last one and a half minute in this third, and uh, the intensity is, is so high. I think either team wants to go on the break with the lead. At the moment it's 2 2 and we have one minute to play. That was a close one and the score station. We are going to go for it again, but the pass did not connect. Rallet has the possession with Gany Costi. again another good shot after a nice pass blocked and they push into rally it again Rallet comes close again but no goal five seconds to go and it's First third is two goals to both teams. Equal terms. Next second third. Ten minutes we see.
ready for the final second third three. Second third of this game between uh Rallet and Moscow Keshlon. It's underway already now. Ten minutes. At the moment uh, score line is two two. Equal. Now Rallet's playing from right to left. There have been a switch on the side. And uh, Moskovsky Echelon playing from left to right. Again, Nikosti, Rallet, with the call. Long pass in up front, behind the net, to behind the net. And the opposing side, Gini Kosti, and this is his pass, this is his trap. Gets a good shot. And then put enough for a goal. Let's deal in position somewhat. Yes, there. That was a nice pass. I've been touched into the goal net, but uh, connected with There's some serious wrestling, serious contact. Fighting for the ball. Skorsky and the hands of Rallet. One pass. Eight minutes to go. Second, third. Still 2 2, both sides. Rally to the park. Advancing is. The player himself. Nice one. And number 10. Nikolai Momchenko. And. He gets a goal. As cool as you like it, go. Andre Brissou. Scored by Andre Brissou and assisted by Nikolai Mamchenko. It's 3 2. Relates. Lead coming from behind. Now they are leading. Once again, in the game of today, the Wireless comes from behind and takes the lead. Although there is still time in this game, but for now, they are winning and they came from behind. As a poor pass, too far for the player to catch. Yeah, not a cool, not a cool, let's like it goal. By Rallets once again. Rallets have doubled their lead. It's four goals to two right now. Four goals to two right now. And if Benny Kostin gets another goal, whereas Nikolai Mamchenkov number 10 gets another assist. It's four goals. Two rallies. No, two goals, sorry. Moskovsky has shown. And uh, six and a half minutes left. Still in the second third. It's quite an ample amount of time to do what they want to do if they can really do it to the opposing team. In fact, it's out of play faces. Let's go 
By the knee, well saved by Andrei Gushin, by uh, Artem Sergei. Oh. Foul by uh, is against uh, Ralex, he's going to be played by number two player of the Moscow Station, Gleb Maulev. Can he get his team a little further on track by cutting the deficit? No, he doesn't. The scoreline stands. Four goals to two. Rallies in front. Off to continue the game. While it's in the park, the Nico Steel. The Nico Steel marches down with Mikhail Zarayski. Ganiev gave a good pass but was not followed up very well. Ganis Ganiev again. Ganis Ganiev again. Nice pass and good goal. As a cool goal, worked out so well by Ramis Ganiev. Ramis Ganiev has another assist to his name. And a uh, goal scored by Mikhail Zarensky. Good one back. And there is still an ample amount of time to play. It's three goals now to Skowski Echelon and four to Uralitz. A little technical delay and we will continue again. Continue and we have resumed. Four goals to three. Rallies leading Moskovsky Echelon. Four, four minutes and 30 seconds left. Still in second third of this game. That means there's a good amount of time left for either of these teams to uh, take this lead. And uh, Moskovsky Echelon just pulled one back. 14 to 4 3. And uh, maybe they can make it. 
equal soon or the highlights extends their lead. Decision is made. And there will be a penalty shot taken by Eugenie Austin. Can he increase the lead? He has to do that. And uh, no goal. Short direct without a uh, pass. That was why I had the foul after a couple of warnings. So the foul was called. Any question? Number nine she took it. Okay, to extend your lead. So the score stands at 4 2. 4 to Relic and 3 to Skowski Ashley. For the puck, the fight for position. The puck has been rescued by the Rallis player. In terms of the Rallis now, the Rallis fighting for the game it, so gain it fully rather. The fight continues. Also for the puck. It's in the hands of the Rallis. Rallis player, number six, Philip Philippo. Moscow's question has it. If still is Jenny Costin, still is Jenny Costin. <laughs> good pass, good shot by Ramiz Ganyev, but he was blocked. He was trying to go for the equalizer ball. For the second time is over, but uh, so far they have not gotten it. With one minute, 15 seconds to play. Can they get it? Can 
they get it, that will really help in their next, in the next third of this game. Not to come from behind to play at a disadvantage, but uh, to be at a balanced level. As Coach Kessler goes. Good shot. Blocked. Uh, James Sergei. Thirty-seven seconds left to play. Right, let's play is down. Any costing? This is what we're so much in this game today. Good pass, but a very good interception. Uh, right, let's play uh, to avoid uh, risky situation. Uh, Miss Daniel, good, good pass, nice shot. And number two player, Atari Europe, has a goal to go already. Five seconds. And they get the very much needed goal at the brink of time. It's 0 0 on the clock to play, and it's 4 4. How cool is that? How cool is that? Pavel Vasilyev finishes the goal off from a beautifully crafted assist by Ramiz Ganiev. It doesn't get better than this. Two seconds has been added. For the first off. And the second period, second third is over. This is amazing. This is incredible. Four goals to each team. We still have 10 minutes to play. And the fourth goal equalizer came just at the end of the second third.
Seven minutes, 25 seconds left to play in the final third. It's 4 4. The sports question has been coming so close to uh, take the lead. Both teams actually have been trying because this is the final dec deciding third. If it's not decided, then we have to decide it in a post game shootout. Moscow's uh, Kessler have been doing more of the making more of the attempts, but still they have been denied all times by uh, Atiom Sergei. Ramis Gagne gives it to Makari. That was a very close one. To take the lead for Moskowski Echelon. Uh, once again, at terms of game, denies that. The uh, clock has gone out of play. We have a face off to continue the game. It's 6 minutes and 15 seconds left to play in this game. Substitution. We are having a new timeout. Discussing strategies how to secure this win within the six minutes and ten seconds left in this game, the final third. Timeout is over. It's time to continue. Face off. And we move on. We had our face off. Let's Moskovsky Echelon once again has the possession. They seem to have the reliance on possession in this uh, first half of the final third. They have been making more of the attempts to take in the lead. But uh, they have been denied that so far. Echelons again come on one more time. Morales in position, in position. Players are contesting uh, with a shot the target without the pass. The referee says play on. Interrupted by Benny Costi. Sends a pass. Gets a shot. Good shot again. On the rebound. Another shot. But uh, Andre Dushenko uh, stood his ground and make sure make sure there was no uh, finding the back of his net. Excellent on the move. That was a good workout. Just left some ten little to finish it up to be a goal. Four minutes, ten seconds left to play. Four four. Four goals to each side. Echelon. The goaltender has it. He sends it out. Then he goes in 
Serious contact there. Some serious contact for his uh, hockey. Interesting. Still is good. Got the puck. Has a good shot. But uh, it flew just a couple centimeters past the right goal line, the right goal post. Pass from goal number to. Vinny Kostin with his Riley has it and he gets the goal with 2 minutes and 37 seconds left to play Riley takes the lead 5 goals to 4 Vinny Kostin gives the assist this time after scoring 2 goals and uh Andre also gets another goal to his name. Five goals to Alex. And once again, the iron front. Four goals to Moskovsky as well. Can we pull this back again? With the two minutes and 26 seconds left. We've taken out the goalie. They have an empty net. But they have an advantage up front. Disadvantage behind, advantage in front. Extra man, help them get that goal. And Rallet doubles their lead with an open net. He's 6 4. He's 6 4. Vinny Costin is good at shooting. He gets that shot well, gets it right. And he puts it in the back of the net. It's 6 4 to Morales. One minute and 53 seconds left to play. The timeout. Six goals to four. Six to Raleigh and four to Moskovsky Echelon. One minute, 52 seconds left to play. I think uh, Raleigh's have this game in their hands now. Once again, taking out their goalie. It did not work well last time for them. They conceived another goal, but they're doing it again. Maybe this time it will work. Or uh, make matters even worse. Minute 26 seconds. That was a close one. But uh, he failed to get the goal. That was Le Mouliev shooting. Le Mouliev again. Pass, but not good enough. One minute left. Close, but denied. 45 seconds. Echelons keep coming. They keep on coming. They keep on coming. They don't relent. And once again, denied. 30 seconds. Riot should be having this one. 
Ashlyn are coming again. Another shot. Still no goal. The puck went out of play. It's 16 seconds left. It's still two goals deficit. Uh, I think uh, our highlights should, should be celebrating right now in their minds that they have this win in their hands. Face off. 13 seconds to play. Right, let's have it. They even added one more goal, like I said, to make it worse possibly. And it is worse for a slot. Less than 10 seconds. It's 7 4. It's 7 4. Once again, uh, 9 and 10 involved in the goal. But this time, number 10 Nikolai Mamchenkov scoring and uh, Benny Kostin assisting. 7-4 5 seconds left to play and the game is over alright let's come in from behind they won this one with a huge huge margin great win for them today 7-4 and we have next our last game of we have next our ninth game and then the final one later see you
right, ladies and gentlemen, it's the second to the last game of the day. It's the ninth game, and it's a game between uh, Lidiani Vaini and Doug Mietz. Lidiani Vaini playing from left to right in camouflage, and uh, they just received, they just conceived the goal right now. That is uh, one of the quickest goals in this tournament. 20 seconds. It's called by Ilya Kalin and assisted by Antiom Shulev. So, Liani Vani playing in their camouflage black and white, and uh, Armia is playing in their stars jersey of uh, red and blue. Armia is playing from right to left, Liani Vani playing from left to right. They have had Wins, except for when they played with um, Chestroli, where they lost by one goal, two goals to one actually. Uh, and the lineup for this game. Anybody on his side. Uh, the goaltender Vasily Lapchenko. Number 3, Ivan Petin. Number 6, Ivan Nagapo. Number 10, Vladimir Horovitz. Number 7, Vladimir Rubakov. Number 5, Grigory Baranchuko. Number 8, Dmitry Darulovic. There have been a trip. Player has been tripped down. But the Anybody player. And now there will be a foul. Penalty duel played by number eight player of uh, Miet uh, Maxim Repin. Uh, a chance to double the lead. <coughs> and he fails to do that. So the goal was already scored previously. Number, first goal by Ilya Kalin, who was assisted by number 10, uh, Atiam Shulev. Ilya is number five. So on the Lineup for the next side, we have the Gary Morishev, the goal the number one, and the number eight, Martin Repin, number five, Ilya Karolin, the goal scorer, number three, Alexander Sajinko, number ten, Atiyom Shulev, who gave the assist, number four, Sieni Lashinov, and number seven, Glenn Washington. Both teams have had quite a good day, not more than one loss each. They will be having their second loss. Each of the team will be having their second loss today. If I'm not mistaken, one team will have a second loss today. In this game, at the end of the game. Two minutes played now, and Armenia is leading by one goal. And they have their second goal already in two minutes and five seconds played. This time, uh, Atiyom got the goal again, but he was assisted by Gleb Murashnikov. Murashnikov. Two goals. Delete. It's two minutes. Two goals. Lady Anivani should be making amendments on how to uh, get this deficit fixed earlier on. Before it gets too late and before our need uh, increases the deficit, two goals already in two minutes and five seconds played. And now has so many 33 seconds left to play. And uh, unusual for a Jenny Vine, they are losing by two goals.
Kalashnikov, the assistant and captain of the team. Almirz on the attack, trying to add to the lead. Six and a half minutes left to play in the first third. Almirz are planning some dangerous plans for the Jennifer inside. It's two goals already and they still keep coming for more. It's number 10, Atem Shulio. He has had a couple of goals today and an assist in this game already. Gleb Mureshov, Mureshnikov, sorry. And an assist. Then if I knew, on the attack, but denied. Goring Murashi. Nice twist and turns by uh, Maxime Repin. Only it. But finally, Lieutenant Vani gets possession of the puck and they're going for an attack. Good pass, poor finish. minutes and 23 seconds to go. Two goals, three minutes. No goal to the Jenny Vine. And a chance to make it three, but uh, it's denied by Vasily Lapchenko. Missed his pass and missed good position. Vashnikov. In position, in possession, rather. They're going for their third. It's Vlad Mirochnikov. Good pass, another pass. They keep sending the puck from one corner to the other. Having a nice game, I would say. And a wonderful shot, a wonderful goal by Arseny Lashinov. Unexpected. Excellent, excellent, excellent shot. He makes it three, uh, but it has to be reviewed by the referee uh, by a uh, request from the Zelly uh, side. So we check the review of the screen and the referee will make his decision.
Decision is made, and the referee says it is a goal. So it's 3-0. 3-0, Asani Lashinkov, his goals, Lashinkov, his goals, thanks. And Jenny Vaini are in shock. Three goals down in the first period, in the first third of the game. Minutes left to play. Then if I need three goes down, and they don't seem as active as usual. I think energy depletion setting in, fatigue setting in. That that vibe, the drive of freshness is lost. Are just struggling to make it count. This is the last game of the day. So it's pretty understandable that fatigue has set in. Nice shot, but well saved by Grigori Morashe. in attacking position. The same recession goes because of the fact that he was dispossessed. But Amit uh, seems to be in possession of the pot. And they have an attack but the pot is quite wide. Quite wide, better than expected. They are still in possession. And uh, good shot and good save by Vasily Lapchenko. Can you find you on the move? Amit. Denied the chance. It's five seconds left. First third to be over, and first third is over. Stays over to the end. No goal for the Janivani. Next is the second third. Second third is underway. That was a chance to make it four already so quickly in the second third. Second third. But uh, they failed to do that because they were denied by Vasily Lavchenko. Oh, 
the second third is on and uh, Nietz uh, at advantage, three goals advantage actually. And we are trying to make it four and even more. Fatigue. Obviously, fatigue has set in for most of the players, especially uh, the players of uh, Legiani Vaini. And uh, you feel the fatigue more when you are uh, losing. The one play team doesn't seem to be that tired, but uh, generally the team is not playing in the, in the standard, in the, in the high intensity I would expect. And being three goals down is not uh, encouraging enough to even play in that intensity, you know. Whereas on the other side of the table, we we'll have uh, Almiet, who definitely have a couple of third players, but it might not be that noticeable because they are playing happily, they are playing without pressure, uh, with their three goals advantage already, which they accumulated all in the first third. Chance by Legion by me, and that was dangerously taken, and the goal counts. They had the opportunity, and immediately they took it. They have one goal, they have pulled one back, now they have two to get on level terms. Mitra Gavrilovic does what he does best. This time assisted by Gregory Baranchuk. This might give them a glimpse of hope, in, uh, some kind of encouragement, some kind of motivation to step up their game because now they are closer than they were. But I admit they are not relenting either. They are not uh, known to let big leads to slip them, to slip past the fingers, but uh, the enemy by his side are not a weak team either, so anything is possible, and there's a lot of time to change this game, to turn it all around. It's still 7 minutes, 19 seconds left to play in this second turn alone, and we'll have a full third later on to play. Almiet fails to up their lead, uh, Legiani Vainé could do anything because huge, huge damages and turn this game around. We have a face off and continue. Was a chance to cut on deficit again, but uh, Ivan Petin was not allowed free will. I made it on the move. Nikov, a good pass he gave, but uh, number eight player of uh, Nietzsche side, uh, Maxim Repin, failed to utilize that opportunity and uh, they have the goal score still 3 1. Five minutes 42, 40 seconds now left to play. Raise up. Our mates has possession. Let me rush me. Going for the puck. 5 minutes 15 seconds. 5 1 5.
Hey, dein Sieg ist over. Bleiben wir müssen doch nicht ab. Und jetzt. Nice save. Bei Vasili Watson. Nice the football. Is anybody near? But then Riverpool seems to have conjured up some energy after the first goal. Anybody still? Still is anybody name? Hijacked. And miss has possession. Lost it. But didn't give back up. Baron Chukov, Grigori. Nice pass, but just passed in front of the body and nobody to touch it and give it the finishing touch for a goal. Baron Chukov, same thing. and pressing and they got it yes. one goal up one goal deficit left to clay and we will be on equal terms and once again Mr. Dabilovic does what he does best and once again we have our duo involved in the goal seven and eight goal by Dimitri Gavrilovic number eight and assistant uh, is number seven, Vadim Ribako. It's 3 2. Two goals consecutive. Two goals by Dimitri Gavrilovic. The deficit is now just one. Are we going to see a turnaround? A surprise turnaround in this game, maybe? Or uh, Amit will step up? and regain the cushioned possession. Nice shot, nice save. Is anybody any on the move? That was a close one. You get a little harder touch and it should have been in the ball post. Closest so far, we got a small positioning of the stick of Vadim uh, Rybakov and he would have been on the score sheet. Seconds left in this second third, second period. The Janivari need trying to equalize before the time is over. And you can come into the final third with uh, a balanced score. But uh, yet, not letting that happen yet. And yet, still good shot, good block. Still a meet. Good shot, hit the bar. Still a meet.
30 seconds. Daniel Vaini has it. And uh, he missed the trap it. Daniel Vaini, Vadim Rubakov. Good shot, good save. Grigory Morashev. Second third is over. Three goes to Arnett. Two pulled back, pulled back goals to Lidiani Vaini. Next is the final third of this game. Final third is on the way. Final ten minutes to decide the fate of this game. Our mates are leading. Three goes to two. Actually, it was three goes to one. They they slipped twice and paid severely for it. But they are still in front anyway. So many chances in just a few seconds, but no go. So Mets are still in front. They have a chance to double their lead and uh, secure this win for themselves. But also, the Genevieve have put two goals uh, back and they have only one goal to pull. So they have one goal to equalize and uh, maybe get another one and win so at this point with the time given it could go any direction it could go anyway it all depends on uh, how well they use the chances how many teams use the chances and how many chances they create just now they created a nice one that means the but uh was poorly executed they missed the chance of getting the goal. They didn't find it. Karate. But pushes the puck to his teammate. They didn't give up. Passes and misses. And he misses a lot of chance. To extend their lead and meet. So many chances created, so many misses. It's, it's uh, not a good thing for them because uh, the Janivani probably not miss such chances if they have it. And uh, if that happens, the mate would be losing their lead. They've had chances to extend their lead. Very good, clear chances and they failed to fix the puck at the back of the net which is something they, they know how to do it very well and they have done on so many occasions but this time they are failing to do it and uh, 
it might not tell well on them if the journey by me uh, surprises them. Trying to break through the defense and everything, but they stole the puck away from him. And need a pressing and pushing. The Geneva and he have barely gotten any chance in this final third, and it's almost four minutes play. It's been all Armiets, it's been all them, but not one goal. So, Account for it, and now Jennifer Vanier almost had a chance and almost used it, but still they, they did not. And met once again, players down. Whatever he says, play on. Whatever he says, nothing actually. And yes, he has possession. I think the short break. Uh, Gave them some time to regain some uh, level of energy and is showing the intensity of the game in this final third. Tom Schuller in possession. Passes to Ilya Kari. Another missed chance by Arunet. Half a done through the uh, final third. Still no goal. So many chances. So many misses. Squash it and the same. Yeah, it's down. Oh, it's not a very cute fall, but uh, it's fine. Is anybody in possession? I didn't move back up. That was a dangerous one. I mean, it could have paid the price for it. And uh, if the Danny happens to score a goal, I mean, it's dead. We'll be so bitter about it because we have missed a lot. Uh, until now, we have. Extended the lead is Gleb Miroshnikov and assisted by Maxim Repin. Finally, uh, Almiet utilizes their chance and, of course, is the boss of the team. Gleb Miroshnikov. It's four goals to Almiet and two goals to uh, the Dianivine. And it's less than five minutes left to play. Two goals deficit now. It's been a roller coaster for the Genovain. Three goals deficit, one goal deficit, now two goals deficit. That was close. But once again, it's the hero of the day. The boss of the team, Glenn Roshnikov, he assisted. He scored, he defended, he's dribbling and creating chances. He's just an incredible hockey player. He might be the smallest on the ice ring, but uh, he's one of the mightiest. And there he goes. Armiet on the attack. Slight miss. But in Liverpool, and once again, it's Gleb Miroshnikov. He's on. He's on fire. Gleb Miroshnikov is just doing everything right. He's doing everything rightly for his team, for himself, for the game. You can see he's tired, he's exhausted. Everybody is tired and exhausted. Fatigue is setting in. It's time out to catch their breath and uh, get back into this game.
Der macht die Sauber. Face off. Und jetzt has the position. Let me rush, Nico. He's everywhere. He is everywhere. Let me rush, Nico, again. Two and a half minutes left. Good shot. Barbaran Chuko. Ivan Repi. Ivan Petty, sorry. Uh, but uh, Rigoli Morashov claims the puck. He's left again. That was a cool move. He bypassed two players and the third one. But uh, nobody to pass to. It's all about Gleb Roshnikov at the moment. He's everywhere, he's doing everything right. He's, he's pressing the right buttons, he's making the right moves. And he's setting the team spirit high. He's the captain. He's exhausted, you can tell by his face and his breath and his breathing. But uh, when it's time for duty, he does his duty. And that is a goal by Lidiani Vaini. The, goal, the goaltender feels so bad about that. It was close, but uh, the, the, the puck slips through and went in. One minute and 18 seconds. Maybe they can hold on to their lead. Or maybe the Geneva and me can equalize. We'll see. It's a goal by Vadim Rybakov this time. And assisted by Ivan Petty. One minute. the lead or equalize who wins and Vadim Rybakov does it he's the man of the moment it's 4-4 Vadim Rybakov two goals in two minutes For Vadim Rivako and two assists for Ivan Petty, and we are on equal grounds for the second time in this game, or for the first time in this game, apart from when the game started without a score. And it's half a minute left. What a comeback! But who wins it? Who wins it? 20 seconds. Who wins it? Armiet. Leb Miroshnikov. Who wins it? 13 seconds. Is it a post game shootout? To decide the winner. Final attack. And he misses it. And the game is over. You have final post game shootout to decide the winner anybody can win it at this moment that was a big 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 comeback by uh, Lidiani Vaini taking advantage of the tiredness and exhaustion of the opponent which actually they also were tired but uh, opportunity showed itself and they utilize it and that is what the games are all about take your chances
Я не боюсь не стать. Дмитрий Гаврилович и Миссис. А вот спать плохо. Next up. Амит, номер 5. Илья Карлин. Я с Тругоус. И Миссис. Тругоус. Shootout score 0-0 at the moment. Next up, number five. Medjani Vaini. And he misses at the last second. Very good Baron Chuto. Just when everybody thought he had it. Very good Morashev stretched out and claimed it. He's in pain, but that was a sacrifice for his team. Before I see any lashing of missed as well. It was a close one also. <coughs> Next up, Vadim Rivakov. Regeni Vaini. Well blocked by his part. We go to Morashio. No go. Next up, man of the day. Glenn Morishnikov Trying to go under the pads, under the legs of the ball Turned up but uh, it was denied Next up is Ivan Petty He misses as well Next we have Alexandra Sajinko Armiens if he scores, he wins for his team. He's on him now. And he does score. He does score and Amir takes the win. Finally, after losing their lead, they come back and they win. Next game, last game. Thank you.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome. Once again, this is the final game for today's game series. And uh, we are finishing up with uh, the game between Shestroli and uh, Oralet. Shestroli are playing in green and white from the left side to the right side. While Oralet are playing in white and uh, sky blue or light blue uh, from right to left. In the lineup for this game, we have uh, Shestroli side, the goaltender. Number one, Andrei Gushenko. Uh, number six, Sergei Holodnov. Number three, Alexander Schmidt. Number seven, Vladimir Kalugin. Number five, Maxim Antonov. Number eight, Ivan Kechkin. Number four, Pavel Kutyakov. And uh, something needs to be checked on the screen. The referee is uh, doing some review on the screen. And then we will check and we will decide and we will continue the game. The review has been done, the referee is out to give his decision. And uh, there is a foul. Ice ticking. There will be a penalty duel played by Maxim Antonov against the goaltender uh, Rallets, Tim Sergi. Can he get the lead for his team? He misses. So we'll continue with the lineup. Well, let's have Atiyom Sergei, number one, Josh Heller, number four, Atiyom Shilin, number eight, Ivan Darushin, number six, Philip Filipov, number ten, Nikolai Mamchenkov, number seven, Andrei Borisov, and finally, Evgeny, Evgeny Kostin, number nine. We have a face off, and we continue, 30 seconds into the game. Good shot by um, Pravo Kutyakov, nice save by Atiyom Sergei. Ivan Keshkin. Good shot. Save well. Ivan Keshkin had the shot. Atem Sergei blocked it. Sestrali. Play more of the attack in this first one minute plus of the game. Ref says play on, player is down. So we count as an offensive tripping, so says play on. Another good shot. Chester Lip put him on the pressure, put him all the pressure on uh, our outlets in the last, in the first two minutes of this game. Pretty interesting to watch, but uh, I'm sure it's not really looking good on the side of the Rallets to be under such amount of pressure, especially the goaltender of Jim Sergei. Sestrali again, save. Jim Sergei. Cool save. Shot, not intentional, but uh, it happened. His teammate in front failed to contact, to get contact with the puck, so it's a face off against uh, Morales.
Morales, nice shot. Wonderful shot by Nikolai Mamchenko, but uh, Andre Dushenko of Chestrelli does well to uh, save it. On the move, and testing, follow the circle, Maxim Antono. Nice shot, no goal. Rallet, stolen, it's just really again, Alexander Schmidt, one testing, and he goes behind his goal net, so he starts the attack. Number nine, Kenny Costin. Alright. Quick substitution. No ceremony needed. Long pass up front to Pavel Kutiako. I'm sorry to Ma Maxim Antono. Not to Kutiako. Fighting for the ball. Puck. Good pass. No goal. Well blocked by Artem Sergei. Not a good shot. Still no goal. Chesterly putting all the pressure on uh, Rallet. Rallet is not having any chance or not enough chances to call for attention so far. It's Chesterly. Still Chesterly. You won't catch me. It's been all about Chesterly at the moment. Good shot, another block by Tim Sergei. He has been put to test so many times. Seems impenetrable at the moment, but uh, we'll see how long that will last. If uh, Chester really keeps up with this pressure, anything can happen. Chester really one more time. Chester really once again. Ivan Kishkin. Maxim Anton. Maxim Antonio is going around and around and around and around. Ivan Keshkin uses the puck, but he tries to make sure he puts it in a safe place. Ivan Keshkin, Maxim Antonio. Morales are going, nice shot and good goal. Little chance utilized and the scoreline changes in favor of Morales. Morales have barely had any chance. Manchester Ali have been getting so many chances, but uh, they failed to utilize it. Just a small one. And we have a goal for Rallet. The game has resumed, it's 3 minutes 24 seconds to play and uh, Morales are leading by one goal to nothing after countless chances of Bicester Lee which they failed to utilize.
Khaled seems to have stepped up after the goal. Maybe he said as a motivation. Chester Ali, good shot. Still no goal. A rebound shot, still no goal. It's not going their way at the moment as it concerns the goal. goes out of play Time goes out of play. Face off. Seconds to the end of the first third, and Raleigh's single opportunity was utilized, and they are in charge. They're in front. Raleigh goes again. This time, no goal. Good shot, nice save. And five seconds to go for the first third. And the first third is over.
second third is underway. Another 10 minutes to uh, decide the fate of this game. But at the moment, we are let a one goal up and uh, sisterly no goal. Let's now playing from left to right and uh, Shestrali from right to left. is down and uh, there needs to be a review on the screen by the referee for a decision to be made. We'll wait for a decision. Just got a goal from Chester uh, Lee. It's 1 1 now. Ivan Keskin gets the goal. Always involved in goal scoring chances. And uh, he was assisted by uh, Pavel Kutiakov. Alright, let's 
have had very few chances, but we were able to convert one of those few chances. But uh, Shestrali have had a good number of them, and just until recently, they have been missing every single one of the chances. Siam Sergi has been doing well to uh, keep the puck away from his goal, but now Jan Ketchkin beat him to it. And it's 1 1 back on level terms, 6 minutes and 32 seconds left to play in the second third of this game. Have a good year, More chances and more chances being created. Chances wise and possession wise, Sestroli seems to be leading. As it comes to goal, uh, not so much. The scoreboard can testify to that. Short, good attempt by uh, Rallis, but uh, Andre Gushin claims the puck. Rallis are lead again. Ivan Keshkin. He misses his pass, but they reclaimed the puck. Two chests to leave. Simon Tonov. One catch king. It's all about chest rolling when it comes to possession and chance creating in this game. Maxim Antonov is still chest rolling. A long pass up front to Ivan Keshki. Uh, what can he do with this? He's good at dribble, dribbling and moving. Maxim Antonov tried, but uh, Sergei. Atom says no once again. Sigini posting. Passes to Andre Boisu. He went for the goal, but he denied of it. Position of the pot behind his goal net. You can tell from his face and his breathing that he's quite tired and exhausted. Um, but um, it's normal at this time of the day after the number of games they have played all day. This is the fourth game. Definitely not two, but either three or four. And they have. I think they have won all of them, or uh, almost all of them. Good shot by Ivan Keshki, but was blocked by Atom Sergei. Actually, Atom Sergei has been open doing, has been doing very fine to prevent the goals, uh, except for the one time that uh, uh, Ivan Ketchkin got to find the back of his net. Uh, let's see how well he can do more, and uh, let's see. Chesterly will be able to take a lead and get more goals. It's 2 minutes and 14 seconds left. That was a close chance for the this game. As usual, so far today, uh, in this game, my chance will give no again. So it's 2 and a half minutes left in this fight. Second third, sorry, second third. And we are. Uh, Equal. One goal for each team. Pavel Kutiako passes to Alexander Schnee. Nice shot, but blocked. Two 
two minutes left to play. Here's the foul. Against Alex. Face off in the half of the Iser. Behind his goal. Long pass up front to Maxim Antonov. A good shot. And Morales might be having a counter, but they are denied of it. Ah, not really denied. They actually got it, but uh, the goal tender and Dragushenko denied him. The opportunity because a well executed counter just void of the good finishing. Alright, let's on the attack. Alright, let's on the attack. The attacking moves now seem to be uh, equal. Chester Lee pass and it was not really on on the floor on the eyes so it was quite difficult to control for Maximum Tun his five seconds left and the second third is over it's 1-1 one, one. no team in front no team behind All an equal size, equal levels of the table, of the scoreboard rather, 1-1, one, one. next is the final third. And we are ready for the final third of the final game of today. Another 10 minutes to decide the outcome of this game between Chestrolier and the Rallets. This is the International Short League uh, Short Hockey Federation Top League. And uh, it's a game between Chestrolier playing from left to right at the moment in green and white. Violet playing from right to left in white and light blue. A goal apiece. Violet scored first and Chesterlier uh, were able to equalize after missing so many chances and even after the goal they have missed so many other chances as well. One question. Pavel Kutiako. Good shot by Pavel. But no goal. Alexander Shviet, Ivan Kishkin, Pavel Kutiako. Good pass. Good hustle, but no goal. Nice block by Van Kechki. 
should have gone behind. It's just a relief. Carvel Kutiakov. Behind his goal. Thinking of his next attacking move. Maybe a long pass. Maybe someone from the rescue, but he chooses a long pass. And they are in the offensive side already. Alex in possession. Number seven player, Nikolai Momchenko. He has scored a couple of goals today and he has the long goal for the team. And Maxim Antonov gets the puck into the back of the net. Alex is down and Chestrali uh, takes the lead. Maxim Antonov puts his team in front. Assisted by Ivan Kechkin, the second time he's assisting in this game today, in this final game. Like I said, he's always involved in the goals. Seven minutes, 45 seconds to play, and uh, it's two goals to Chester League. Finally, the chances now showing up in the scoreline and uh, it's one goal so far to Rallets Rallets on the attack Chester really claims it and it's a third goal for Chester really. Things are turning around right now. Things are turning around. Their chances are showing up more and more on the goal. And uh, this time, Pavel Kutyakov gets the goal. And once again, Ivan Kuchkin gets an assist. It's a triplet assist. It's a hat trick of assists for Ivan Kuchkin. Three goes to one. Just really leaving. Seven minutes left to play. They have been leading the game on every side except the scoreline. But now, even the scoreline follows. Ivan Keshke behind this goal. Maxim Antonov comes to his rescue. Sends a long pass off on, but was received. By Gany Costin, who failed to get his pass to his intended player. It's Alexander Schwer. Good shot, wonderful shot, but even another wonderful save. By Andrei Goshenko. Just really on the move. But the pass did not connect well. He's Rallets trying to get a goal. Once again, they have been denied. Many Kostin tried the shot, but uh, he misplaced the puck and released his stick. So he missed the main chance of it, but tried the second time and uh, it was too late, I guess. The goaltender was already ready and in position to block it. Tom Sergei, Ival Kechkin has three assists in the three goals. But uh, he's yet to get a goal to his name. Sestroli. Ivan Kechkin. Maxim Antonov. Yeah. 
Alex. Good chance, but failed to get the goal. Morales in possession, players down, but the uh, game continues. Close one, but claimed by Tim uh, Sergei. Quick substitution for Alex. Then he goes to the back lane. He knows how to cause problems for his opponents. He tried to do that just now, but uh, it was denied. And very good, Shinko. And it's Sestrali's chance. I was clearly open one for him, but he put it too high above the goalpost and uh, he failed to extend the lead. It's a timeout for Chester Lee. Three goals, they're leading one goal to Rallets. Three minutes and four seconds left to play in the final third of the final game of today. The amount is over. The food goes to Bristol. Okay. Players are in position. There will be a face off. And we uh, will resume this game. Done, face off, Morales has possession. Gainy Costin. They're taking out their goalie. Morales, goalie is out. The strategy to get an extra player up front. And also puts their defense at a big risk. They can either get a goal or conceive a goal. Or maybe nothing at all. Two times they've tried it today or one, two times and two times they have been punished. At least once I know they have been punished. So will it work out this time? I don't know. The puck hits the mask, the helmet of the goalie and uh, he has to be checked. He needs some time. And the game will resume if everything is fine. The shot has uh, broken a part of the helmet. It's no longer fit for use. It has to be replaced. Before the game continues. Safety rules. Safety first, always.
okay. The helmet is in order now. Uh, okay. Hopefully, get it back to him. He's putting it on, and after that, we will resume the game. After a face up, of course. Or with the face up. Back on. This is 10 seconds to go. And it should have been a goal, but the referee says no, no goal. I think they were too enticed and uh, excited by the open net. They failed to observe the rules of a pass before a shot towards the goal. So it's no goal. It's still 3 1 the score stands. Less than two minutes to go. It's Chester Lee. He gets the pass and he gets the goal. And Pavel Kutyakov increases the lead with the open net. Like I said, it could get bad with an open net. Maxim Antonov gives the assist this time. And uh, Pavel Kutyakov gets his second goal of the day. And we can conclude now that uh, Shestrali has this game in their hands and there is nothing Raleigh can do to uh, meet up with a three goals deficit in one and a half minutes to play. That was a close one they had to pull one back, but they missed it and it means even worse for them. They have been punished by Chess Trelli. Morales has the first goal. And uh, Morales came from behind. And now they are forward up. It's a big goal margin for a team that came from behind. What happened, Morales? Robert Kutiako having some fun with hide and seek around his goal. It's one catch kick. Even his dribbles. There's 35 seconds left to play. One catch kick still. He's all over, everywhere in the, in the eyes ring. The pot is out of play. We have 20 seconds left. have a face-off for the game to continue. It's certainly over for Riley in this game, this final game today. 10 seconds and the final whistle for the day will be blown. And it's over. Sesterly for Raleigh one. What a comeback. What a win. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for today. See you tomorrow for another series of games. Goodbye.